And now, another episode of Crit Camp Gaming. This is the Western Water, a land of black and green, where the sun and rain are caught in an eternal struggle to rule the skies. Here, nature grows with an unmatched vigor, and our houses have been standing for generations. We had been fighting the wild arcs for two years when the zombie plague struck the kingdom. Our foes had grown beyond their own resources and were raiding our farms to avoid starvation. They were fighting like the hungry beasts they had become, and we answered in kind. As orcs are natural-born fighters and already hungry, they are harshly struck by the zombie plague. Almost all of them became infected in a short time. We were fighting the zombie plague as well, and the long feud was suspended for almost two weeks. When the orcs came back, they were changed. Their army had entirely turned zombie and was still determined to ravage our country. They were stronger and hungrier than ever, but created a different kind of food. We quickly realized orc, ne orc necromancers were directing the tide towards us, the survivors, the last obstacle between them and ultimate power. Ultimate. Their infected army is no match for our untamed resolve. No matter how battered our ancestral home has become, it is ours and ours alone. It is now time for Zombicide! <laughs> That's Zombicide, Green Horde, my fellow campers. We are here to battle! It is here. It's Green finally Horde. here, guys. Green Horde. <clears throat> Can you believe it, Lyle? <clears throat> sorry. <laughs> Can you believe it, Lyle? Good start. Uh, sorry. I got a <laughs> so self battling at the end of a cold here, so. <laughs> Thanks for the subs, guys. Thank welcome. you so much. We've for the made it, Lyle. Blue. Mark the and date, I guys. Say, uh, thank you so much for the resub, that Duke Silver. Yes, yes. And mark the date, guys. It is February 7th, 2019, and we are finally kicking off Zombicide Green Horde. It's been a long time coming. I mean, when when did we back this on Kickstarter, and when did we receive this? This was... Oh, man, I didn't even go look. I mean, I have it to go is, look. It is, it's, it's been a while. It's dude. been it's so been, far gone. Um, yeah. We've been taking forever to get through Wolfsburg, Black Plague, like we have always been doing with Zombicide, guys. Um, it's not because we were keeping it away from you. It's not because we didn't want to do it. It's because we had a goal since we started Crit Camp that we would play through every Zombicide mission and beat every single Zombicide mission, starting with Season 1 of Modern Zombicide. And we've done That's that. Right. And we've done that. Well, except for the last mission of Modern Zombies, I would still have to do that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, yeah, well, we're, we're waiting for Scott Bauer for that. But yeah. we're talking about Season 1. We're talking about Toxic City Mall. Yeah. We're talking about Prison Outbreak. We're talking about whatever that third season was called. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was that? Yeah, yeah. And then we're talking about Angry Neighbors and, and other expansions there. Then yeah. we're talking about Rue Black Borg was Plague. Season three. We're talking about Wolfsburg. Yeah. And now we're talking about Green Horde. And we want to finish this up because you know what's going to happen at the end of the year. It's going to be Zombicide Invaders. Zombicide Invaders coming. The aliens, yeah, so, dude. So we want, to, we want to get through the Green Horde. Much anticipated. Yeah. Um, like we mentioned, I think, um, when did we mention this? During our Keyforge stream, uh, maybe, um, that Wolfsburg didn't really add too, too much different stuff from Black Plague. Um but Wolves. Green Horde does add new elements, which we're excited to get into. Yeah. Uh, and with Green Horde, because they didn't upgrade the uh, the companion app, you're gonna you're gonna see it old school crit camp style. We've had to make our uh, own which, companion app, guys, which you've seen right. in Rum and Bones, which you saw at the start of Massive Darkness, uh, which you saw at they think the start of Zombicide, because we were playing Zombicide before uh the companion app even existed i think yes. at first for that we did it for ghostbusters we've done it for dark souls we've done yeah. our thing so you guys will be familiar with this quality it's going to be amazing um and we got some awesome people popping in chat already we got sean we're going to be debuting some awesome pieces today guys so exclamation point sean in chat see through the wu-tang monk you'll see him in chat there he's done some awesome pieces for us so we're going to debut those today a few of them not all of them sean did a bunch of really cool pieces for us so i want to spread them out over our green horde trials here and make sure they last and we're also going to show off stuff by k -Mike mike which is super cool too um he's he's yeah, yeah. one of our campers so one of his first reveals will be here 
showing some of his pieces. And then <coughs> later on, in this in this uh, version, we're actually only going to play with what comes with the base game of a Green Horde. We're not going to add in the Black Plague stuff yet. We're not going to add in all the expansions right off the bat. This is going to be literally, you buy the box. If you went and bought it today, uh, like I even saw a Dark Initiative was saying, well, how many miniatures come in the box? Um, I could give you an exact number. I mean, I could look in the uh, rule book right now and show you exactly how many. Um, but we're only going to use the, the base number of miniatures. Like, uh, well... Not true. I've added in a bunch more like runners and orc walkers and fatties from the Kickstarter and stuff. But generally, you'll have 14 fatties, 14 runners, 35 walkers, and one necromancer, one bomb. We're going to add two necromancers. We do not use the cabal rules, and we'll be adding in, I think, like two of bombs. We have two of bombs. So we'll yeah. be changing that a bit from the base game, but not much more. Yeah, we're not talking about adding in all the. the yeah, the we're not adding friends stuff, and foes. So. We're not. Right. What's the other one called? We're not adding no risk for the wicked yet. That stuff will yep. come later on or even in the first episode. Well, the, like the first, well, this is the first episode of Green Horde, but in Quest 1, since we're doing Quest 0 today real quick, in Quest 1, we'll add in the Black Plague stuff with Wolfsburg and all that will come in, the abominations from that. And yep. we'll add in all the heroes from that because there's a million survivors you can be. <laughs> and we'll describe all that stuff as we start to add it in. Yeah, as we um, add it in. We're, we're, we're excited to just sort of... Um, on every tutorial mission, on us every quest zero of a base mission, we like to play with with mostly the base pieces, yeah. So that you can see what the gameplay is like without adding all the extras. And then as we continue to go on, we'll uh, you know we'll bring in all that OP stuff. Yeah, it's gonna um, be sick. Want to say hi to people in uh, in chat? We got Adam Bazer, uh, Brawling Bros says uh, super excited to watch uh, you guys run through this. Easily one of my favorite co ops of last year. Yeah, uh, and in their opinion best zombicide so very excited to play this yeah. um we have we've been dying to play so hopefully it's good we've been hearing good things about it um yeah and say hey to dark initiative and uh xbox is Marty. is Marty? what up dude he says good luck good morning and happy adventures he says yeah we'll see what happens man um xbox yeah mark the date february 7th 2032 is when we will complete yeah, yeah, green yeah. horde that's, uh yes. <laughs> yeah that'd, that'd be that's that's pretty accurate <laughs> i don't know when we started wolfsburg uh, or when we officially start, I mean, you can go back to our, if you guys ever, if you're just joining us and finding us out because of Green Horde, like like we've been saying at the beginning of this whole time, we have content from season one, four, over four years ago. We have over four years of Zombicide content. So if you go way, way back, I can't say the quality is that good. It's, it's, <laughs> it's a little rough to get some through some of those episodes. You'll see a lot of quality, but you'll get to see the ramp up if you deal with the hours and hours and hours. I don't even know how many hours of Zombicide content we have now. You can go to YouTube and actually see um the total hours uh it's like yeah. hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours of just zombicide that doesn't even include yeah. all the other cool mini or not games we've done as well so um if you're a zombicide fan we've got the content <laughs> here at the yeah. camp this is what our base yeah, game is so it, it always takes us like i, I want to say it takes us anywhere between six months and a year yeah <laughs> from when we start a set uh, yeah. starting a, a, a game to, to finish it with all the other games that we're playing. So <laughs> Aaron says, maybe, yeah, maybe, millions of twos. There's, roll. there's a good estimate, maybe. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I didn't even have a son at the time, says Xbox. I <laughs> know, neither did I. Now I have two. <laughs> I know. Same. Same. Now I have two and one's five years old. Oh my God. Oh my God. I was gonna say I've I've lived in uh what? One, two, three, four different places since we started Zombicide. Yeah, I've lived in three Four yeah. different places, two different states. Yeah, two different states. We've tra traversed the north northern American continent, uh, doing <laughs> yeah. crit camp. You've seen you've seen the iteration. So if you go back to the beginning and watch, you can see Lyle and I as we grow older and and move around the country doing the show. Every, so. Yeah, every now and then I will watch that that very first uh, <laughs> one that like is on YouTube, episode three, Zombicide. Yeah, episode one, one and two don't even you can't even find those. Anymore. You can't even find those because they were so bad. Um, we had to take those away. Up. We had to take those um, away. Episode three, I watched, and it, I, it's just cringe, dude. <laughs> I know, it's cringe, hard, but it's fun. It's so bad. If you want laughs, guys, <laughs> go go get your laughs. Um, so because we started from the bottom, now we here. As uh, yeah, we as started from the bottom, now we here. The great That's Drake once said. Um, so yeah, guys, we're gonna be having some fun with this. We're gonna go over the rules. We're gonna start with the base stuff. Um, other than that, we're gonna show off some cool art pieces by the community, which is sick, and why we're the best camp on Twitch here, uh, and all that support. We got some fun stuff like that, and then we're gonna play through the quest zero and hopefully live. Um, yeah. Before we jump into before, that, I want to. Yeah, before we get into that, I, I do want to. I want. I do want to say uh, we have a current giveaway going on yes. right now. Yes. Um, and so exclamation point giveaway in chat. You can pull that up, and here's the graphic Chris just put up. Uh, we have made custom play mats. That's right. And our current giveaway right now, you can use your crits in chat to get in on this. Uh, you can either get this uh, all black with the big logo with the bear peeking out uh, version, or you can get what we're calling the campsite version, 
Uh, this is a one-player play mat, which you can use to play things like Key Forge, maybe, mm -hmm. or uh, Pokemon, or Yu-Gi-Oh! if you're still doing that. Or, Magic you the know, Gathering. Uh, or Magic. So, uh, yeah, get, 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 uh, you know, get in on this. Yeah, do it. You guys unlocked it, so we want you guys to win it. And this is the first print run of this. And, uh, you know, we're going to try to get a store up. You know, here's here's mine. I just grabbed it real quick. Here's what, uh, here's mine sitting here right here in person. So you see you get to choose yeah, your version mine. and enjoy it for your games. So get in on it, guys. Get in on it. We want you guys to win it, and you guys will get to pick what you want. And then eventually it'll be in the store. So you can show off to your friends at your Keyforge events before even the other campers get them. Because I'll be using mine tomorrow at a Keyforge event, which will be sick. Nice. Um, I can't wait to pull this out. Other than that, I did see Asmati, so I will I will put this up as well. Asmati Games, just to give a shout out to our buddy Asmati in chat. Uh, 1001 Odysseys is currently on Kickstarter. It's funded. It's doing awesome. It's a choose your own adventure style game where you get to play, take on different roles and move through uh, the awesome world uh, as what is it? what is it? Brigham Gum. I want to say Plum Plum, but that's a that's that yeah, little no, it's thing not Plum right Plum there. Bill, but, uh, <laughs> Plum Plum is the little dude. It's, it's Mog Bog Bill. Yeah, it's Mog Bog um, Bill, whatever guys. we call it. Yeah. You know, it's a game from Asmati Games, so you know it's super high quality. This thing is so much fun to play, and there's so many things to like about it because the adventure itself is hilarious. Yeah. Uh, the way you play with your friends is really great. It's a nice little co-op, and you guys get to be different uh, people on a ship, uh, different um, occupations on the ship, and you work together. The art is amazing. Yeah, it's, it's fun. It's so good, and um, and there's just so it's so deep. So much work went into this because it's so deep in like the lore and the backgrounds of all these a lot of stories, though. all these things. So it's very, yeah. very enjoyable. Yeah, I just want to say I hope we get the opportunity to play it soon, uh, and that would be uh, a lot of fun. So check it out, guys. We played it through the beta, a couple versions, early release stuff, um, which was a lot of fun. So I just wanted to put that up before that. Um, uh, before we move on from that, let's um, uh, we we wanted to let's spin the wheel for the newest campers. Lot where the most recent resubs. We appreciate all those subs, guys. Subs go a long way for us, so we really appreciate it, and follows and stuff. But our subs get spins. So we owe two spins, and then we're going to go into the rules breakdown of the game. We're going to tell you what's That's up. That's right. So the first spin is for that Duke Silver. That Duke Silver fired off, Lyle. That's right. You sub up, you get a spin, and things win. So you can get more crits and have all that. But the Duke Silver, who painted some pieces with KT on the rocks, your pieces will be making a debut again once we get to a... a, a oh, we got Bean for Chris. Got Bean there. Got Bean. Ah, oh, Okay. Fire it off again, I'll get those Tonster beans ready. Blue. Tonster Blue, thank you so much for those subs, dude. Tonster Blue. Tonster Blue. Bean for Lyle. <clears throat> oh, 10 push ups oh, for Lyle got wrecked yesterday. Now, you're going to get nailed. Totally yeah, I did a lot more push ups yesterday than I thought I was going to do. So, <laughs> I did like 120 push ups, and that wasn't cool. Peach or Barf, cheers, uh, Duke All Silver. Right, you're going to do that beat. I'm going to do a quick 10 push ups, and then we can get into the rules. Okay, cool. 10 push ups by Lyle. He's going to bust him out right there. If this had some peanut butter on it, it would taste better, but it is peach. Woo! Lyle just busted him up. All right, all right, all right. Yes. All right, all right. Well done, Lyle. Xbox says Tanner loves that wheel. We love Tanner, man. <laughs> Tanner. What's up, Tanner? What up? All right. Yeah, what up, Tanner? Looking good in those crit shirts, guys. That's right. And we also have a new ca uh, crit camp shirt. I don't have the image readily available right now, but um, yeah, we just debuted a new shirt of the bear. He's on, uh, Lyle's got some bears on his shirt right there. Um, yeah, so it's this bear. Yeah. Uh, it's this guy right here. Crit, you mad. Uh, but it's a big bear portrait. And it says Crit Camp Gaming on the bottom. Yeah, Crit Camp Gaming. Just go search on Amazon. You can go get it now. Prime shipping. What? rock your stuff so you can rock the shirt you can rock the play mat and eventually some more pieces like that for your game nights and be awesome and, and uh, grow as the best camp on twitch because we are the best camp on twitch lyle yeah and soon yeah soon we'll, we'll we're going to be doing uh well we'll get some wallpaper we'll get some uh some uh bedding you know some yeah. embroidered quilts uh, uh christmas <laughs> uh yeah stuff for your christmas uh decorations uh yeah. ornaments uh stuffed uh uh Ro Rome, uh, russian dolls we're going to have a Crit Camp Russian doll <laughs> uh, made. Yeah, the, the um, nesting, the nesting, nesting crit, uh, crit Camp doll. Yeah, that must be great. Um, let us know what you guys want. I mean, the oh, nesting doll. Speaking of which, man, everyone's going hype and, on Netflix about that new show, Russian Doll. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I just saw that. Uh, I can now watch Infinity War and Ant-Man and Wasp and everything that I'm so far behind on that I need to catch up I on. Saw, I, I want to watch uh, Punisher Season 2. That's the next on my list. Too, uh, Lyle Body Pillow is being requested by Aaron Air. Okay. Lyle Body Pillow in the works. Oh, Body Pillow. Crit Camp Throw Pillow would be sick. Yeah, we have, we, you know, we'll see where Discord got theirs made. We got those things. Uh, crit Camp Dreidels. Yes, we still have Dreidels. We can do Crit Camp Dreidels. Oh my God, know. Crit Camp Dreidels. I guess, sure. <laughs> All right. 
There we go. Jurgen's asking, did Punisher get canceled already? Is that true? I don't know if it got I didn't, canceled. I didn't hear that. I'm so far behind on that. I mean, that's the way of all the Netflix, right? Because yeah. uh, Disney sort of just pulling yeah. the plug. Yeah, exactly. All right, so let's get into these rules, dude. We've, we've been talking and wugga, wugga, wugga. Um, we're going to go into the rule set, guys, so it's going to be super sick. So what we did find is you can get the digital rule book online uh, if you don't find it. And before Lyle jumps into these rules yep, uh, and all that good stuff, um, we just want to say that if you go download the rule book online to play this you know, at home or whatever, you most of the other games' rule books are complete. What Cool Mini or Not has done for some reason with this iteration of the rule book is yep. they've uh, removed all the quests from the digital download of the rule book. So if for some reason you lose your black or your green horde rule book, you're gonna have to figure out somewhere else to get the quest. And we couldn't find them anywhere else. Um, luckily, I have the rule book, but just yeah. a heads up that this does not have the quests in it. Yeah. Otherwise, it has everything else. They're just completely taken out of the the digital rule book. And I'm sure it's a content thing or or something. But Lyle, let's get into the rule book, dude. Let's learn about what's coming in uh, Green Horde. We're not going to go through all the We're not going to go through rules. all the rules. So we're assuming yeah. you've been with us this entire journey. You know the, you the played Black rules Plague at least. Aside, especially coming off of Black yeah. Plague and Wolfsburg. So I'm really only going to gloss over the things that are changing for Green Horde. Yeah. And the first thing that are changing are that the zombies are going to be zombie orcs. And they're just slightly different. And they... And meaning they just hit harder. So yeah, they're the meaner, walkers the, and the fatties and the necromancers will all do an additional damage. So usually when you get bit by a walker or a fatty or a necromancer, um, you only get uh, one damage. Now they will do two damage to you. The orc runners will still just do one damage to you. Yeah. But everything else is the same. So the fatty and the walker, um, I mean, the runner and the walker will still take one damage to kill them. The fatty will still take two damage to kill. The necromancer will still take two dam uh, one damage to kill. Right. But as far as what they are attacking you with, the uh, the walker, the fatty, and necromancer will hit for double. That's crazy. Um, yeah. The orc abominations will still do three damage. That's the same. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, they will go through armor. That's still the same. Mm -hmm. Um, and then we can kill them with dragon fire or a three damage weapon. That's the same. Um, so it's just that the walkers, fatties, and necromancers will do an additional damage. Um, if you want to scroll down to the horde, yeah, this is the big symbol new right here. This is a this is a new mechanic that's happening with green horde. So there will on the spawn cards at the very top, you'll see uh, a little horde symbol. Uh, you can see at the top left over here. Uh, and so basically, what happens is when you pull this card and you see a horde symbol, whatever you're spawning there, you have to put an extra one in a zone just outside the the, uh, the playing board, right? Yeah. And this is like considering like the horde is like, is a get ready, right? They're like recruiting troops on the outside of the- <laughs> Yeah, uh, getting the ready to invade. And they're ready to go, man, and they're ready to go. Yeah. Um, and so basically every time you spawn and there's a little symbol there, you put an extra one of that type on the side of the board. Uh, but this does not apply to abominations. And when you um, search for a weapon and a, and a zombie comes up in your building. Does not apply. This right. is only during like spawns. Right, right, right. Um, when, you, when you flip over a necromancer I think I that have has that symbol, you put one of each. Yeah. Oh, you it's not down here. You put a walker, a fatty, and a runner into the horde spot. So that's like. Oh, that's like right here. Super Whoa. Yeah, right. Oh. Yeah, that's crazy. Then, Evil Ed, 21 months. Thanks, I waiting, dude. I was waiting to see when you were going to show up, dude. <laughs> to um, correct us on everything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Um, and then when you get the Enter the Horde card, um, yeah, where's that? That means you take the whole horde over there, and you put it in that zone where it spawned, and then that immediately ends spawning. So let's say we have three or four different spawn points, right? And on the very first spawn point is the Enter the Horde card. We put the whole horde on that spawn point, and then we don't spawn the rest of those spawns. All right, it just ends. Yeah. Uh, so. So it could be bad <laughs> is basically what that is. It could be really bad. So, you know, we could be putting a whole bunch of zombies in there and then they could all enter and just wreck us. Oh, my gosh. Um, so this is what it gets a little crazy about the horde. How do we control now, the horde, Lyle? How do we control that? that horde then? How do we control the horde that's accumulating that horde? outside okay, well, of the city there's walls? A new siege weapon. Oh, let me go there. Yeah. Hello? Let me go there. Okay. So yeah. page 35. Yep, There's yep. this new siege weapon. It's called the trebuchet. Trebuchet! Oh, that's right. There it is. And this thing is badass. Um, and so, but 
it takes a lot of actions to use. So basically on, um, on the board, there's going to be um, a zone that specified that the trebuchet is going to be in. And so when you're in the same zone with it, you can do a few different things. You can move it, and it takes all three of your actions, um, well, if you're in blue, um, you know, because when you're in yellow, you get an extra action. But it takes three actions to move this thing, and it will move you and the trebuchet one zone adjacent to you. I thought— To a legal zone. Well, before you say that, I think you don't have to be in the same zone with the trebuchet to move it. You can be anywhere on the board, right? Is that right? I believe moving a trebuchet—I know you can fire it from anywhere. Do you have to be in the same zone to move the trebuchet? I assume you have to be in the same zone to move it because it says you it moves survivor and the trebuchet one zone. Ah, okay. So to move it, you have to be in the same zone. Maybe someone can uh, clarify that. I mean, Evil Ed, let's, yes. Evil Ed says yes. Moving a trebuchet right here. So I should be here. I'm in the wrong section. Okay. Yeah. Survivor and trebuchet both move from a zone to the next. So you have to actually be in it. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So you have to push it. So Brawling Bros says you do. You have to push it. All right. So um, number Makes two. Sense. <laughs> there, there, there are things called water holes, which I'll talk about. Oh, we're jumping later. into water holes. Are you done? No, 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 about... no, no, I'm not jumping into water holes. I'm just going down the things about the trebuchet. Okay, yeah. Uh, if you move it into a water hole, the trebuchet is destroyed. So just don't do that. We can't do that. Okay. So, the, so firing the trebuchet also costs three actions, right? The survivor loads and fires the trebuchet, and you can aim it at any zone that's range two or more. So mm. anywhere on the board that's at least range two from you so you can't do it on your own zone or the one right next and to you. no line of sight is required and exactly chris you wow. don't need line of sight you can just fire you can be like boom you're just dropping bombs dude yeah you're dropping bombs so um range two or more line of sight doesn't matter it makes no noise i'm not sure how that works <laughs> yeah <laughs> like, um, and there what's really cool is it has three different ammo types that you can choose. Okay, that's where I was. Okay, let yeah. me go back down there. <laughs> <laughs> and Hold so on. the three different ammo types, and this kind of reminds me of Rub and Bones, <laughs> like shooting like the deck gun or like choosing. Yeah, like yeah this is totally like the deck gun in Rub and Bones. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's one that's called Scatter Shot, right? And so this does the least amount of damage, but you get the most, uh, you know, you get the most dice for it. So yeah. six dice, four plus accuracy, damage one. Or you could use Grape Shot, which gives you less dice, same accuracy, but damage two. So three dice, four plus, damage two. Or one giant boulder, which gives you damage three, which kill, could kill an abomination at four plus, but you only get one dice for that. So oh. the idea being that you have this siege weapon, but you can choose which way you want to shoot it, right? Do you have a bunch of walkers that you want to get rid of? Do yeah. so you want to get the most dice with damage one? Or do you just want to kill an abomination at damage three with one dice? Um, and so if you do have line of sight to the thing that you're targeting, and it doesn't have to be you, the one firing, if you're, if you're dude, you know, let's say I'm firing the trebuchet, but Chris has line of sight to where I'm targeting. Mm. He's basically scouting for me and being like, you're on target, dude, just fire it. Mm. It makes your accuracy three plus instead of four plus. So it's always one less if you have line of sight, basically, because they're exactly. all four plus. Ah. You, have line of sight. you can always, you can always shoot at something that you don't have line of sight on. Spotter. Right? You're a but spotter. If you, have a, if you have a scout out there yeah. looking at where you're, then your accuracy increases, which I kind of like as a flavor thing. Yeah, this is going to be cool. This is cool. Yeah. So you can um, use that so now. Hits and casualties are applied per standard rules, meaning target priority counts, even with this trebuchet. And friendly fire. So if we're hanging and out, if we're fire. hoarded over, Yay. But the cool thing about this and what what Chris was giving me a transition from from when we we're talking about the horde. Yeah. So when you're building up your horde, which is outside the game board, you can actually use this trebuchet to thin out that horde before they enter. Mm. So you can actually because you can fire at things that are line of out of line of sight, you can actually fire upon this horde. So yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, the last little note about this is this trebuchet does not benefit from uh, moving and attack buffs. So if your character gets like two moves per action or something like that, I... it doesn't translate to the trebuchet. You don't get to move it an extra. If you get, um, you know, if you get plus one damage to ranged or right, something that like work. that, yeah, it's not. It doesn't work with the trebuchet. That works just mm -hmm. for you and your weapons, but not for the trebuchet. Um, so is there anything else you want me, you want to talk about with the trebuchet? Before um, we move on? no, um, I think yeah, this I think is pretty cool. I think it, it's going to be, know, I'm glad that it's adding another layer. I mean, just to give some like 
uh, before we play with it style because we haven't used yeah. it. But I like the idea of, well, we already talked about how the orcs are going to be accumulating somewhere. So that's already a different layer of orc spawning, yep. um, which is going to be cool, a different challenge, something to keep the threat level up. Yep. Um, but the the ability of having something on the board that we've brought in and uh, interacts with not only the initial the the board but something outside, which is kind of cool. This is going to be like a different kind of cool I strat. Like we have to think of like, okay, we got six we got six dudes. Which of our six? Like, look at that look at that horde over there. We just had a necro spawn. That's three things. Like, dude, it's getting big, and we're running out of pieces. Like, yep. Like one of us has to sack a turn. Yep. Like, exactly. who's it going to be? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So it it. Yeah. it Definitely adds another layer of strategy, you know, especially if the, the trebuchet is on one side of the map and you need to be on the other. It's sort of like, do we run over there and try to, like, hang out with the trebuchet a little bit? Just like, you know, the way that reminds me of is sort of like when we used to play Flashpoint. A couple of times we played Flashpoint. Oh, yeah. The we always the decided, like, Chris, just stay, stay in the, the fire water engine. cannon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just stay in the truck, dude. Yeah, you're going to have to have someone stay in the – well – yeah, I mean, that's why I'm wondering if, I mean, we haven't looked further into the characters, guys. We know what some of their names are, but we haven't looked deep into, like, their abilities. But I wonder if there's someone in there that's, like, burly or something that, like, can yeah. push the trebuchet two spots or... Because I see you can't have line of sight onto the horde, ever. I don't think you can ever have line of sight onto the horde, uh, you know, the big horde accumulation the zone. Yeah. yeah, you can't. No, you can't. So you can never have it less than four at the moment until yeah, we have someone, exactly. so... And, and Xbox is asking, does the does it do friendly fire? Yes, it does. Yeah. It does yeah, have so if fire. if a survivor's in that zone and you miss, uh, it will hit the survivor. Savage. Um, and so the there's only three more things I'm going to talk about that are different, and these are the barriers, hedges, and water holes. So um, barriers will prevent you from moving through them, but it does not block line of sight. So that makes sense to me. It's right? like the barriers in modern. It's like the barriers in modern, right? It's like a fence in modern, right? Mm-hmm, so you mm-hmm, can't mm-hmm. move through it, but you can still see through it. Um, if they're if the zombies on their move, if they have no other way around, they will break that for free before their move step. All right. But if there's another way around, if they have another route, they'll go that way first. Right. right? So it's not like modern in the sense that the only way they could break through fences was unless you're an abomination, uh, was an activation, yeah. wasn't it? I think in modern it was like if yeah, they in get modern, extra... it was uh, the bomb can break through a fence at the beginning of the move step if it was adjacent to it. Yeah, and I think anything else could break through it if they got an activation. I think if there yes, was like a walker's activation, activation, they yep. hoarded over the fence or something. I think in modern. Yeah. So, so in the way that this works, if there's another way around, the zombies will go that way first. If there is not another way around, they're going to bust through this for free and then move. Um, hedges, on the other hand, yeah, these are um, interesting. Block line of sight, but don't block moving um so it's the opposite of barriers um and this kind of reminds me of ghostbusters a little bit <laughs> oh with the fog or whatever it was yeah with the, with, with the fog um and so the interesting about thing about hedges is it is a gamble for you to go through so since you don't have line of sight but you can still move through you have no idea what's on the other side of this hedge right so when you do cross a hedge you need to roll a die right um as long as you don't have uh, line of sight to the destination. If a friend of yours is on the other side of the hedge, you do have line of sight mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. because your friend is telling you, it's cool, come come over. Right. Um, but if you're going through a hedge and you don't have line of sight to the destination, you roll a die. If you get a one, you add an orc walker to the destination spot. Ah, interesting. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. But if you get a two, two through six, you're all good. So, so it's a little bit of a gamble that you might get ambushed on the way out. Um, and then we have water holes, which is what I mentioned with the trebuchet. As soon, it, it's just like, think about streets that are sort of semi-flooded. Um, yeah. And so if the trebuchet gets into this thing, it's busted. It's done. Falls apart. Oh, yeah, it, it falls apart. The water rots on the wheels. And yeah, I was going to say, is it the bad glue? It was the well, bad horse glue we dude, created back glue, in the dude. day. You, you, not, you need to use tight bond blue or tight bond green. You know, you can't yeah. just be using like regular Elmer's, yeah. you know? Yeah. And so... Um, how these things work is you can move into a water hole normally, right? No big deal. Okay. You can just go in. Uh, but if you are going to climb out of it onto a ledge and you can see, uh, on this little diagram, it's the, from the watering hole to the zone that's on, on, in the North, yeah. right? Or a deer. hard edge there. Yeah. Uh, you have to spend an additional action to climb. 
Ah. If you're going to go from the water to, a, you know, a bank right here on the, yeah, on the bottom, on the south and on the west, yeah. a nice little sloping thing. Yeah. Um, you don't have to. Um, you don't have to spend an additional action. But if you need to go from a water zone to another water zone, you do have to spend another action because you got to swim over there. Oh, you kind of have like to a... wade through. It takes uh, extra effort to do this that. This is subterra style. <laughs> this is subterra style. Exactly. So now we've so blended subterra into Moving into the water, that's fine. Moving out of the water onto a bank, that's fine. Moving from water to water, extra action. Moving from water to ledge to, come, to climb out, extra, extra action. action. There is a speed enchantment in this game which lets you ignore water effects. That's cool. That's cool. Um, and here's another thing. Dragonfire has no effect on water zones. What? So don't, don't light a fire on the water. This ain't, this ain't no game fire on water. No smoke okay? on water, guys. Listen, listen. This is not Game of Thrones. It's oh, not the, the Battle of Blackwater Bay. Okay? That don't, yeah. that don't work. Okay? You can't have Bronn <laughs> over here. You know, firing a single arrow yeah. to destroy you know, uh, you know, <laughs> Candace's uh, fleet. Okay, yeah, <laughs> it's not gonna, it's not going to work that way. Doesn't work that way. Uh, it's not it like real life Game of Thrones here. Yeah. Um, uh, the other thing to note about watering holes, and again, there's a lot of stuff that I'm saying, and we're going to go through it as you know, as we do the tutorial here. You yeah. guys will remind us when we get things wrong. I'm sure. Oh yeah, we'll do it. Uh, but zombies, they have no penalty going from water to water. So. I don't know why. Because first of all, zombies shouldn't like water. I mean, maybe as they... We, as we learned from Game of Thrones. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. but what we learned from World War Z is that that's where it started. So zombies are are like, they're at home oh, in the water. Oh, that's true. That's true. That's yeah. true. Yeah. But they can't use ledges. They can't climb, dude. They don't know how to climb. Sure. Period. So they'll always go to a bank. It looks by this example. Yes, they'll always go to a bank. So a ledge is considered... Uh, they know he's there, but so they're going to go around and away from the ledge and just go up the bank and find another way around. Yeah. Interesting. So this is the weirdest thing to me is that with, um, with the water thing, if they're going to go to the ledge, we just have to keep in mind that, okay, like in here, a seam is right here. Yep. Uh, it even says his zombie traces route all around the block crossing the bank. So what if this door was closed and he couldn't get to a seam? Would he just stay right here? No, he, remember he he would go to the door, assuming it was open, and then just even hang though out. so he doesn't have necessarily line of sight right here. No, no, he would be following noise at that point. Right at this point, this would be like he doesn't see him, which is kind of weird yeah. to me, like that he can't see him over this bank. He can't reach him, but I would assume he could see him, and that's why. But yeah, that's oh really yeah weird. yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, he does have line of sight. You have line of sight over the thing, but he can't get to him. So he would try to take the path to get to him. Okay, he, but he wouldn't just stay here because it's closer. He would actually try to get to him. But I was just saying, if this door was closed, would he just stay here? Oh, that's actually a good point. Sorry, sorry, I missed. I missed what you were you were talking. Like, so about. if this zombie guy was here and this door is closed, and there's no other way around, would he just stay right here? Like, maybe he would just stay there. I think they would pile up here. Yeah, I think he would just stay there. I mean, maybe and everyone in chat that door open, then and then there's an open path, and then he would go. Because this is totally a situation I know we're going to get into, which we always run yeah. into. It's like. Do they just pile up there? I don't know. Should they move? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll find out. We'll do some play stuff, guys. Let us know. That's what. We, that's why you guys oh, are the best camp. Oh, hilarious! Hi, I'm Phil Swift. I want to tell you about Flex Seal. Are your streets funny? <laughs> Use Flex Seal for a little <laughs> Put it on your trebuchet. Look, I'm gonna I'm gonna put Flex Seal all over the bottom of this boat. I'm gonna sail it out <laughs> yeah. to this lake. <laughs> I'll put it all over this. Watch this trebuchet. I push it right into this water. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I need do that for my travel gutters? trip. Use Flex Seal. Do you have a leaky roof? Use yeah. the Flex Seal. <laughs> well, there we go. I think that basically, I think that basically covers um, the new additions. There now, there's more stuff that will come in some of the expansions we have. No rest for the wicked and uh, stuff like that. There's even other things separate from the trebuchet. Um, there's other giant siege weapons that come into play later on. We'll be introducing those mm. as we move forward, um, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and Brawling Bro says, you probably never have everyone on the ledge. In this game, your party will be split because of the trebuchet. So they would get to the door, then decide they couldn't get in and head toward the yeah. treb team. Yeah, I see what you're saying. That's true. I mean, this is what I'm thinking. Like, It's, it's just, just not like, really going to happen. It's like Flashpoint, dude. It's going to be like, somebody, st somebody stay with the thing, dude. Yeah. It's like, we got to stay with the thing. Yeah, we gotta, <laughs> okay. yeah we're going to stay with the thing. This is going to be interesting. What's going to happen is we're not because we're not used to it, and uh, we're going to get wrecked. Um, so... Uh, like we said, uh, we're going to start this thing off with, um, some of the basic stuff, all the stuff that comes in the box. Um, and, uh, we're going to start with sort of the, the base necromancers, the base of bombs, the base orcs only. We're not adding in like 
walkers, dead eye walkers, anything like that from Black Plague. You're not going to see wolves, spawns. We're literally using the spawn cards and the equipment cards from the base game if you were to start this exactly. up and play Quest Zero yep. with exactly. no expansions. Um, Quest One will include a lot more content, and we'll get into that, um, and we'll let you know that we're going to be doing that, and we'll talk about kind of how they're addition but basically it's a seamless transition you just add the cards into your zombie deck um how you prefer so to t- speaking about pieces and what we're doing i want to debut the newest pieces from sean what and k mike right are you ready for this lyle i am ready dude all right dude here we go guys boom we're starting with sean's piece oh dude all right guys exclamation point sean in chat to see the collection of stuff that he has painted in, on his Instagram channel, but this thing is so badass. Yeah. Look at the detail. Just yeah. look at the detail. My pictures do not do these things justice, but yeah. some of these are Sean's. We both used cell phones, <laughs> and it, they're <laughs> blown up. So Sean and I have done our best to kind of put some pictures together of the pieces they've done. But yes, this is... So we're starting with Sean's. We'll go into K-Mikes. But here you can see at the top, as, like Lyle just said, Sean, or follow him on uh, Instagram. He's always posting his pieces. He did stuff for us for Massive Darkness. You saw his rat, like a bunch of stuff like that. He did stuff for us for Wolfsburg, uh, Massive Darkness, Wolfsburg. And I think he did some stuff maybe for Modern, not 100%, but we're always loving showing his pieces. And we're going to have more from him but yes this is the one of the necromancers lyle um so this is the front dude i was just super impressed uh like i said this doesn't do it justice but down to the base look at that base hey, well, well sean does a really good job with bases yeah uh, which is so awesome but like just the detailing and with, the, with the shadow and everything like look at the like the musculature right yeah dude. and like and like sort of just Spine. the shading that's happening but like the thing that this guy's wearing man like, look at it, dude. Yeah. There's, like, so many levels here of what's going on. I love it. I just yeah. love it. It's nice fur, nice fur right there. Um, and then I will debut the next thing from Sean. So that's his Necromancer. Super sick, Sean. Thank you so much. Can't wait to get wrecked by him. Sean's yep. newest abomination right here. Look at this thing. The Orca Bomb by Sean. It's ridiculous. Again, guys, look at, look. just look at the base. Creativity is great. Just look at the bases, guys. It's yeah. Awesome. Like, this guy's on, like, rocky terrain. Yeah. He's got some, like, greenery going on there. He's got so much shading and definition. It's insane. I love it, man. Yeah, he did so good with this. I mean, like, look at the little, uh, the creativity with the little, uh, uh, like, uh, stuff on the bottom. <laughs> I don't know what you call that stuff. Uh, the little green, sh- the green stuff. It looks like a little, to me, it looks like, like, uh, I don't know, like, like, a, like an algae sort of, uh, algae bloom or something. Yeah, and like I said, these, like, these photos don't do it justice. I mean, Sean sent me these photos. These were the best ones he could get. I mean, I've got Oh, man, piece. Sean even says even the, the base didn't come out the way I wanted it to. Man, he's such a professional. Yeah, it looks so awesome. He (laughs) added in like crazy words. I think he's talking about the necro base, but this base is crazy, dude. Um, The blood splatter on the orc. You see the blood splatter on his arms and stuff like that. looks like he's been taking bites out of dudes um, and all that kind of stuff on the on the armor that he's got there. The the claws. And then here's just the the back. I just. The, yeah, the, the bone, bone on his on back. Top, look at I that. Think is what looks so cool. The bone is back. The claws, the claw color. Look at that definition as it goes down. It's freaking crazy. I know. It's um. He just has this gift for the shading detail that makes it look really, really good. Yeah, like good. the the way it blends. Just the blend. Yeah, it's not like a hard cool. break. It's super rad, man. Thank you so much, Sean, for this a bomb. Yeah. Um, and all that great stuff. Uh, I have. Where did I put it? Um, oh, I was gonna show it. I was gonna show it later. I was gonna show it later. Um. But so Sean also did um, a few bunch of other pieces. Like I said, I'm not going to show them until later. And I took um, some photos of, let me see here, uh, the trebuchet he did for us, actually. And I realized I, f- I forgot to add him to the build because I just got him here. But here's Sean's trebuchet. Now, the trebuchet we just got done talking about, Sean did the trebuchet. And I'm going to debut it because we need it for this, mi- this quest. Um, but here is the trebuchet. And the pictures may be small. But here's Good. the trebuchet he did uh, for us yeah. as well. When you guys see this thing, it is like gray. I think it's colored gray when you get it in the box. Um, or it's yeah. yellowish, something like that. So here's Sean's trebuchet that he did for us. What? It's so cool. It's the ropes, man. Like, the ropes, the ropes and the like, rock? If you look on the interior, guys, that's that's a rope around rocks. Yeah. And it looks awesome. Yeah, <laughs> it's like a giant boulder. This thing's going to be sitting on the board a lot through our campaign here um it's super awesome i can't wait to use it there's one angle on it let me grab one more angle for you guys to see kind of more of the anglage but 
There you go. Sean, this thing looks amazing. Look at the metal around the edges, the wheels. Yep. He even painted the bottom. Now, he's mad because he didn't sign this one. And I always ask him to sign his pieces for us, and he always yeah. does. <laughs> Gotta sign. Gotta sign them, dude. <laughs> so, uh, this is no one will ever know, Sean. I guess I'll just take all the credit for this one. So, this is my trebuchet uh, that I painted. Uh, but uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. But yeah, he did an amazing job. This is super rad. So, when you guys see this on the board, know to hit exclamation point Sean in chat and check out his Instagram. Um, if you guys want pieces done, I think he's talked to some people in the community and he has even done other pieces for. Um, people in the community as well. We have many painters. Um, and speaking of those painters in the community, if you want to see stuff, Discord is our great channel. We're going to move on to sh uh, to K-Mike, dude. So K-Mike, you guys might have seen him in chat as well. I don't think he was able to make it live today. He, um, sad to say because we had to change up some of the times. But yeah. Miniatures by K-Mike, he did a Necro for us as well. So let's debut K-Mike's Necro. And then we're going to get into some gameplay, guys. Here's K-Mike's Necro provided to us by him. Boom. Look at, the, look at this. You've seen K Mike stuff in Discord. He's always posting his awesome pieces, and now we have one for the camp, which is super rad. Um, and I love how it's like you've got Sean's take on the Necro, and then yep. you've got K Mike's take. They have that's what I think is thing, the most but... exciting, right? It's yeah. just like they have the same piece, and it's like the interpretation yeah. of of the guys. And I think they're awesome, man. Yeah, I love I love how they have the little symbols and stuff up on the bar. Like they're almost like super close, like but yeah. still took their own own uh, path with it and kept like the same lore, which is super sick. Like he's got the blood on the spike thing over there. Yep, yep. He did uh, all the little detail and stuff. Now I want to jump to another angle of it that really shows the fur. <laughs> the seven minute abs. Yeah, the yeah the seven minute. Look, hey, I mean again, hey, you know that thing eight minute abs? Yeah. I got an idea, man. It's called seven minute abs. <laughs> <laughs> now this like here's the here's the abomination here i mean you guys if no one's familiar with i mean this thing's this big it's not even that big so the fur on this i wish the, the pictures could do it justice um or the cameras but the fur is amazing he did uh, again they both have so much talent in getting the the layering with the fur yeah this looks rad man it's yeah the, the highlights and the shadows on the fur is rough because there's just it's just so many nooks and crannies right yeah. up to and the so hair. guys this takes a lot a lot of time yeah you know, and a lot of precision so I like like hats off to these guys. These look so great. Yeah. Like, yeah. look at these. Look at this guy. He's king of the north right now. He's yeah. king of the north. He's king of the north. <laughs> king of the north, Necro. So, yeah, you guys are going to see these awesome pieces pop out. Be sure you give K-Mike some props. If you want to see more work by K-Mike, hop in our Discord channel. He's always posting up pieces from his games there. He's doing cool themed miniatures, um, putting, like, cool dudes in his Zombicide games and his Massive Darkness games, I think, and even other stuff like that. Um, if you guys are painters, we know some of you other have done it um, and come in here. Please show them. Um, up in our Discord. We'd love to see him. Hit us up on Twitter with him. We'd love to show them um, on air uh, and support you guys as best we can uh, here as well. But um, everyone's saying it's awesome. I hate how Necro isn't holding a curling broom for maximum fear. I know, right? I think his Mighty Games would agree with you there. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, dude. crit cheers in chat for these guys. Yeah, this, uh, yeah, th yeah, this Necromancer looks like he'd be the skip, dude. Yeah, the skip. <laughs> <laughs> He's hauling down there. So, guys, whoa, thank you. Like whoa. Lyle said. We appreciate Whoa. all the time, and this is super awesome that you spend watching the show, and then look, it's getting creative and sharing your creativity with us. This means so much to us, um, and we hope to support you guys more if we can. So please share them with us. Share them with us. Share them with us. Share them with us. Lyle, it's time to talk about what else we'll be using in this game and who we'll be playing with from the base game. What do you say? Uh, yeah, let's do it. Although, I do I have, to, I have to take a quick break. I have to blow my nose, dude. I'm getting over this cold, and I'm just like so stuffed up. Just gonna blow his nose. Just give me like 30 seconds. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go right. blow my nose. Lyle's gonna go blow his nose while I sit here. Go blow your nose, dude. I mean, you're still telling us how you're blowing your nose. This is cool. We're, we're, you guys want to, like, mid, mid show, Green Horde debut, Lyle's gonna go blow his nose. He's gonna blow his nose. He's gonna go blow orcs out of his nose. Orc green snot. What is this? I'm by myself. You know, how's this gonna fly on YouTube? We just lost all the YouTube subscribers. <laughs> Rolling Bros says, I'm a contra creator. No damn time to paint. So envious all you guys that have time to do it. Oh, uh, you, you should see the, um, uh, so I did, uh, the, my, the extent of my painting, Brawling Bros, um, where are my runners? Oh, I have them over here. I'll show you the extent. Everyone in chat kind of knows this. This is as far, I mean, if you've seen our Zombicide content before, you guys have seen my, this, this is it. Either I use Sharpies or, uh, spray paint. <laughs> but a lot of that's just because of, uh, Showing the content better on air, and so everyone knows what a walker is and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, single color. That's all. That's all. but that's why we're psyched when we have artists share their awesome work with us, um, and we have many of them in chat. So we appreciate that, guys. All right, sorry. Oh, that my 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 trebuchet. You like my trebuchet, Brawling Bros? Thank you. I know. I spent so much time on it. Ah, I know. I know. But you know, you should check out what Sean did with his trebuchet. I know. I know. You should check it out. I mean, mine's pretty good, but you know, it's not as good as Sean's. <laughs> 
All right, Lyle, let's get into the character cards now that you've blown your nodes. Yep. Oh, you were going to say was, he was about to sub, but then he walked away to blow your nose. I'm sorry. <laughs> Savage. Savage, dude. Ruined, dude. Ruined. Yeah, ruined. So, okay, we're going to get into the character cards, guys. We're going to be using the six base characters you get when you go buy Green Horde off the shelf at your FLGS. You get it from Cool Mini or not, um, and that good stuff. Um, like we said, the quality over here is not like the companion app quality you usually see on Crit <laughs> Camp for Black Plague and, like, Massive yeah. Darkness anymore. We had to go back to old school, literally build it ourselves. Uh, we're going back to our... You know, grassroots. Yeah, this is crit back camp. to our roots, dude. Back we're back to our, to roots. our roots. So, so the scans aren't perfect and all that, but hey, we're getting Green Horde content up, and we're gonna be able to play the game. So, I don't know, sub so we can afford it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. So we're gonna be playing the six base characters. This is kind of like the the character our our design of the uh, companion app build until the companion app comes out. So email Cool Me or not, send them letters, uh, write a letter to your governor and tell them to e uh, email Cool Me or not and tell them we need a Green Horde companion app so everybody can enjoy it. Um, but I'm gonna be starting as uh the first three here. Uh, I'll be starting as a seam. So a seam is one of your first guys. I can get a curved dagger because lore, right? I've always gotta have a curved dagger. Um, he starts with taunt, dude. So you don't get a curved dagger. You no. can just hold. I can hold a curved dagger, dagger in your middle, yeah, in your middle spot. In my middle spot, yes. Yeah. And you guys will see that on the on the flanking of the character card. It's just like the companion app. Like we'll have that's where we'll be putting our weapons, and then we'll be storing our backpack stuff kind of off screen. But we'll be pulling it in and showing it and that kind of stuff. And then we'll we'll be changing our with next level plays. We'll be changing our uh, character cards uh, down here with the uh, the slider. Yeah! <laughs> oh yeah! It's a That's little. It's a little jank. It's technology, a little jank town, dude. But, uh, Get wrecked. We're nuts. This is gonna be great. So, whoa! <laughs> so I'll be a seam. I'll be starting with seam. He starts with taunt. Now, if everyone knows what taunt is, taunt's basically I can if I have a, a creature, they'll they'll always go for me, isn't that? I can get their attention or something like that. Yeah. So if the if you have a so you basically you target a zone uh, in in your line of sight of yeah. zombies. And you say, "Come at me, bro," and they will they will try to come at you, ignore everyone else. everybody else. Yeah, that's right. Matt loves taunt. We remember Matt loving taunt from like uh, old Zombicide days and stuff like that. Um, I then have Sully, 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 Sully. I like Sully. Sully. Okay, cool. She also has a slot for a curved dagger. Eventually, she gets jump, dude. Remember jump? We used to use yeah. jump for like various yeah, things. Yeah, Cross is gonna make you jump, jump. Yeah, jump, dude. You know. Um, so jump means I can jump over like used to be holes, but I assume this means I can jump over like a water hole. Maybe, uh, in modern, it was like pits. Remember pits in modern homicide? Um, and, and I don't think that was in black plague. Were they? Hold on. I can do, I can do a quick, uh, let me, uh, do a quick search on a uh, jump here. Yeah. Jump is you can use one action and jump, jump two spots. Um, and yeah. I, I wonder if I can jump over barriers. Can you, can you tell me that? Yeah, well, um, spends one action. They move two zones into a zone to which they have line of sight. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think I can jump barriers, though. I think I just jump. Like, I can jump over zones. Yeah, you, you ignore everything in the intervening zone. So I think that means I can jump over barriers, no? You can jump over barriers, dude. You can jump over barriers. You can jump over water. I can't jump over walls. I mean, like, I can't jump from no, you room jump to over room. Walls, dude. Um, but... but that's pretty cool, dude. I think I like jump in this case. We think we used to use jump when you had zombie pits and that kind of thing. Uh, I think there were times where it didn't really work out for us <laughs> and that kind of thing. Uh, so it was uh, a lot yeah, of fun. Yeah, Peach Memorial Barricade. <laughs> Peach Memorial Barricade. Exactly, guys. So she'll have jump and all that good stuff, uh, which is going to be a lot of fun. And then I have Johannes. Johannes yeah. gets a slot for a crossbow and he has transmutation. Now, is this uh, this is like take two cards or take one card? Is it like Massive Darkness? All right, so transmutation. The survivor can use this skill as often as they please during each of their turns. Spend one action and discard an equipment card from your inventory. Draw a new equipment card. Ah. The survivor can reorganize their inventory for free. So this is not a search. Cool. Um, so this is basically just uh, discard a and draw new. Draw new. I don't have to. It's not considered part of a search. I search. I get something I don't like. I can use transmutation and try to draw something better. That's pretty cool. That, I know this was That's a spell. Cool. Spends, you, you spend an action to do it. Yeah. yeah. I, I remember this was a spell before, right? So uh, yes, now I, this guy just has it, which is pretty sick. All right, man. So there's Johannes. Lyle, who will you be playing as? So I am going to play as Rolf, Rolf right here. <laughs> Whoa. Did you hear that crazy motorcycle outside? No? Wow, dude. He's huge. He's probably really cool. It's probably yeah. it's probably Sky Jedi or, or Asmati Games rolling by. All right, uh, this guy, uh, Rolf, right here, can hold a great axe uh, in, his, in his middle hand. Yeah, man. Um, <laughs> and he's got bloodless melee, which means spend an action um, 
and I can move up to two zones uh, to a zone containing at least one zombie, and then I get a free melee action there. So um, Red there Cap are a few characters that we've played with blood must, uh, Bloodlust Melee uh, before. Um, it's sort of just like a Scott-powered move. Yeah, man, Red Cap Rodney, I think, was the big push yep. with him, which was pretty sick. And then I can, get a, I can get Jump later, um, jump, jump. Cross says so, or uh, battle rage. other things like Battle Rage and Shove. Oh, so yeah. yeah, things to discover, things to discover. All right. <clears throat> and then? Um, I got uh, Baron right here. Baron. The dwarf. And you could have my axe. And you could have um, my axe. Yeah. So he can put a dwarven axe in his in his uh, middle middle uh, hand. Um, and he starts with shove. And you guys know that I love playing characters with shove. I've been it. using this skill since, like, modern. Yeah. Um, you know, since, like, season two modern. Yeah, dude. One of my favorite the... skill sets. Um, and so, basically, if I'm in a zone with zombies, a bunch of zombies, I can just push them to uh, an adjacent zone. Yeah, we love this skill. Uh, or it's great. Free. Saved us so many times, which is super rad. Super rad. Yep. Saved so many times. And then... I'm playing Megan, Megan? Um, who's going to be our our magic person, dude. Oh. Like, she's got a satchel of potions and stuff. Yeah, dude. Um, so I can hold the speed enchantment in my uh, middle hand. Um, and I got a thing called double casting. Yeah, which tell means, me about the double. Yep. So every time I perform an enchantment action like speed... Um, they can select an extra target for the same enchantment for free. Whoa. So basically, I could be like, Bring! and you too. Bring! <laughs> you get speed. And then because he got speed, you get speed. Yeah, you get speed. And then you get speed. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So it's, it's really great. Um, yeah. First, so the first thing is I first designate both targets, then resolve one application after the other in any order. That's so. pretty sick. That's pretty awesome, man. Are you going to play yeah, play like, Van Halen when you jump? I think we used <clears throat> to try to play jump by Van Halen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we may be starting to do the jump as we get in there, but uh, we'll see, man. We'll see. And then, of course, we have our trebuchet card uh, to keep us referenced on when we fire this thing out because it sounds like uh, we're going to be referencing this often um, to remember how this works because it sounds like it's a major part of Green Horde. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's going to be it's gonna be everything, dude. Yeah, yeah, it's a major part of Green Horde. So, guys, it's time to get into the gameplay screen. Are you ready to see quest oh no first we're gonna start with the mission dude we gotta see what we're doing we gotta start <laughs> with the quest what am i doing yeah what am i even freaking doing dude all right we so gotta, let's get we into we this it's quest time dude it's quest time let's lead what our quest is for our first quest like we said this is the tutorial zero this is uh this is quest zero it's the tutorial mission guys so this hopefully will be a quick one it says 45 minutes but you never know four plus survivors considered easy but we'll see because we're looking for fresh water we stumbled across a disgraced druid shrine now, vibrating with dark energies, zombies are lured to the area like moss to a flame, threatening everyone in the vicinity. We are survivors and zombie hunters. Putting this necromancer plot to an end is our duty and our pleasure. Yes, I admit it. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> All right, Lyle, tell us what we're doing in Quest Zero. All right, scroll down to the map. To we, the have map. Two things, we have two things to do in this tutorial mission. One... We have to destroy all three spawn zones, the uh, the red, the blue, and the green. There's only three on the map. And number two, we have to reach the exit, which is at the bottom of the map, with all survivors. So we all have to survive. Um, and we can exit on that zone as long as there's no zombies in it. So how do we destroy the spawn zones? So you see there are um, the, t the objective tokens. There's a blue... Um, X and there's two red X's. The green X is randomly um, shuffled into one of the red X's. When you pick up the blue X, the blue spawn zone dies. When you pick up the green X, the green spawn zone dies. Um, so basically, steps one and two get the green X, get the blue X. Um, and I believe we get five. It doesn't say that we get XP for getting these things. Hmm. Um, well, it says, it says at the bottom, objectives, 5 XP. Oh, okay, great, great, great. Oh, yeah, yeah, objectives, 5 XP. Okay, great. Um, so we have to get those things. Um, and then to destroy the red um, the red spawn zone, we have to use the trebuchet. Ah. Um, and, yeah, and it, it just it gets removed with damage one, so we can use the one with the – we can use the ammo type that has the most dice. Um, but it has to be – so we have to walk over to the trebuchet, which is shown on the west side of the map. And then we just have to fire at the uh, at the. I rest. thought I thought we don't need line of sight to fire the trebuchet. You but don't. Don't you have to be next to the trebuchet to fire the trebuchet? No, I thought you could be anywhere to fire the trebuchet. No. Then why was Brawling Bros saying that your party's always going to be split because somebody needs to be next to the? 
Chubby Shay. Oh, I thought that was only for movement. I thought it was you can always. Oh, you always need a Treb babysitter, yeah. Brawling Bro says. Ah, okay, so yeah, I can't... It's not like you, there's, like, some, like, NPC that's, like, manning the trebuchet for you. Oh, like, okay. you need to go and, like, load it and shoot it. A character has to be next to it. Next to it means in the same zone as, right? Mm. Is that That's basically it. You can't be, like, in the I zone assume next, next to it. Yeah, I'm assuming that you have to be in, in the, the same, same zone. zone. Okay, at least one yeah. person always... Dang it, man. I was trying to hope this thing would be... I was like, wow, we can just Dude, blow this thing Dude, that's, like, up. OP as hell, man. That's, like, that's like that's like <laughs> calling know. down, like, an orbital strike. It's not, like... It's all like, uh, we, need, we need a trebuchet shot. Uh, just paint the target. No game in the game. Well, I, this is what Sean told me I could do. <laughs> this is Sean's uh, is that, house Oh, rule. I'm sorry. Is that what Sean, Sean rules? Okay. Okay. I understand now. I, I, no, I completely See who taught me now. how to play Green Horde? Yeah. I played a completely different <laughs> game. <laughs> yeah. All right, dude. I mean, that's basically it then. Yeah, basically it. So pick up the blue X to destroy the blue spawn. Pick up the green X. Uh, to draw, destroy the green spawn, and then fire the trebuchet at the red spawn okay. to destroy that, and then make it to the exit. All right, that sounds awesome, man. I think that that means it's time to head over to the gameplay screen. But before I do that, I have to say, whoa, look at all that stuff. Just Whoa, I don't even know yeah. what those are. <laughs> just Yo, like, Sean's even offended by that one. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, I would never even say that. <laughs> Lies, you would say that. Um, so I wanted to say uh, uh, K-Mike was super generous to also send us um, some treats. Now, I didn't get these over to Lyle. He sent us a few few of these because k mike's out in canada up in canada he's always he's north of the wall so he sent oh. us some treats that i forgot to mention as we were talking about his pieces so it's these canadian and you also forgot to send to me thanks man uh, they're these <laughs> canadian i think these are big in canada I, I don't i don't know if i've had these before have you had these lyle they're like what? these canadian i wonder if the playing board games guys eat these on a are they little uh, maple leaves anyone can yeah they're little maple leaves and i assume they're maple syrup um from canadian maple syrup candies uh now that i've had these for a while <laughs> sitting in the box because i didn't want to open this stuff too early but um, I'm going to find out how this tastes, and then uh, we're going to get into this. So hopefully it's not too bad. Uh, hopefully hopefully they haven't gone bad is what I mean. I hope they're still good and that it gives me um, a reasonable amount of uh, good taste is. Good taste Oh, Brawling Bros says he was hoarding them. He was green hoarding them. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I was green hoarding them. So here we go. I'm going to try this thing. Let's see how this tastes. If, if anyone in Canadians know out there what this is officially called, I assume it's just a maple candy. And if, it, if anybody in Canada wants to send us uh, Nanaimo bars, oh, um, yeah. we'll you guys take can those find too. We've been searching those for years. Mm. Or, or Ruffles all dressed. Or, oh, you can find um, those in America. Or, or whatever snacks. You can find a those in America. Tim Hortons. Oh, yeah. Uh, Hortons. <laughs> uh, what if it's a bean in disguise? Yeah. Oh, it's it's ra- it's sour milk. <laughs> um, no, it actually doesn't taste what like maple it, syrup. I don't think. It tastes kind of like um, butterscotch or like toffee. Or like a Werther's original. Oh, okay. Yeah. Here. Butterscotch. Yeah, yeah, so that was my snack of the day. That was my snack of the day right there, dude. Woo! So thank you so much to K-Mike for that good eats. We appreciate it. Wow, I'm that'll... so glad I got a snack of the day. Yeah, so we're going to go into the gameplay, dude. It's time for our first gameplay reveal. Here's the board, guys. We've got some cool little tricks we're doing on top of our awesome player board creation. Our our awesome board over here. But you can Rel, see... that's that's... Reld and Evil Ed, that's, that's a terrible idea. That's a terrible idea. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> chocolate chip cookies with like beans. Just yeah. like, it's like, oh the... wow, look at Reld sent me a chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> <laughs> just, why is there fish in here? <laughs> why is there dead fish in here? Why is there dead fish? I mean, Reld, you wouldn't do that. I sent I sent Reld a hot dog in the mail, actually. That's he right. said he wanted it. And he said he, he, he it. said it wasn't the first hot dog he's ever received in the mail. No, not at all. So as you can see, Sean's trebuchet, as you saw in the photos is over there, placed as the map said. You've got our 3D doors from Black Plague and all that kind of stuff. And we even have 3D hedges, Lyle. Look at that. Now, I didn't get the double order of hedges. So the 3D hedges we have um, are going to have see how we're going to have to see how long they last. And some of these missions, they get there's like tons of hedges. So I don't know if we'll always be able to represent the 3D hedges accurately, but we'll do our best to do so. We may need to get more (laughs) hedges is what I'm saying. We need we need to hedge. Um, And as always, we don't say it enough, but we thank tabletopaudio.com, and we do say it usually. He's going to be providing us some uh, ambience as we play through our first Green Horde battle. Check out Tabletop Audio for your board game and RPG sound effects and uh, ambient needs. So there we go. We're going to play out some, some some stuff here. We've got dragons and orcs we'll be hearing in the distance as we play. Over here is one of the Kickstarter uh, expansion things I'm adding as well. This is the or- This is the hoarding zone where we're going to be putting our orcs. So what you're saying is you need a hedge fund. No, oh, whoa, you get nice. Nice, nice, nice. Um, well done. So over here, 
over here is the horde zone. So anytime we add a, uh, uh, add someone to the horde, they're going to go in here with this dead horse they've been eating. This thing comes as yeah. part of the friends and foes, is it? I, I don't know what it is about that tile, but it just makes me think of Westworld. <laughs> yeah, right there. So this is where, that's what's going to be coming in. Um, oh, this wasn't Friends and Foes. This was No Rest for the Wicked. It was like all the heroes and stuff. But you got this as an extra horde tile rather than just putting them off to the side. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's our, if you see that, guys, that's where our hordes are going. Um, it's going to be pretty sick. Uh, so we've got that going on. Um, anything else I should mention? Oh, you've got our heroes starting up in the top right. Uh, anything else you see that looks different to you uh, that doesn't make sense? I don't think so. So I think it's time to play. I think it's clear enough. What do you say? I think it's clear enough. Okay, I'll be drawing the cards physically. What? 2019 physical cards? Yeah, physical cards. I'll be doing physical right. cards don't, for don't, zombies. Here at the camp, don't we always play our card games digitally? We used to. We used to. I mean, what is we, this? I mean like Keyforge style, Transformer <laughs> style. Oh, oh God, what is this crap? I know it's Star like, come on, style. Cool Mini or not? You're making it. You're making us work here. You're making us work, Cool Mini. Uh, mm. Let us. They're gonna. They end up. What they're gonna do is they're gonna see our companion app and just like copy and paste it. <laughs> Be like the Crit Camp skin. <laughs> like, just, <laughs> the Crit Camp skin. Yeah. Blown out, grainy Play graphics. It, yeah, we're gonna get all the yeah. There's gonna be a whole bunch of like comments, be like, "This skin sucks." Yeah, uh, worst skin, <laughs> worst app. <laughs> Wait, worst app, worst app, and um, or they're just not gonna make it because they're gonna be like, "Oh, you guys figured it out." All right, so, all right, let's get into this, Lyle. I'll be starting with a seam. What should I do, dude? What do we want to do? Want to head for the trebuchet? Should we just go? Whoa, we... whoa, 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 whoa! We need to we need to distribute uh, starting equipment, my friend. Oh, that's right. We don't have right, the so, app. So starting equipment is a little <laughs> different. Um. We still have the same three short swords, but we also have a Norse sword, a uh, telekinetic blast, mm -hmm. and a spiked bow. Okay. Um, so, who do we uh, want to have what? Well, I would like my magic caster to get the spell. All right, throw it into her. Throw it into her thing. That's right, guys. We have to. We don't have the companion up telling us how to do things. So if you see us going out of order in any way, please stop us and because we have to do this. So next there you level. go. So this thing is going to be uh, zero to one. It's a combat okay. spell. Uh, one dice, four plus, one damage. Um, spend an action. Uh, open a door within a range or line of sight. So, dude, I could I could you can open, open doors, doors with spells. Range, dude. You can open doors with spells, which is really cool. That's a green yeah, horde open thing. Open doors with spells, dude. All right. So uh, what do you want? Um, you got Bloodless Melee with Rolf. What do you want Rolf to have? Uh, either the short sword or the north sword. Do we have any cool. ranged guys? Just pick something for him. That's good to go. All right. You mind if I take this badass, badass weapon rearray? No, it's fine, dude. You got Bloodless, so I assume you're going to jump in and beat yeah. stuff up. Gain two dice if Norse Sword is all no shield, so it's a combo type thing. Okay, does yep. two damage. Norse Sword guys, that's new to Green Horde. Yep. Um, okay, and then what else do we have? We have we have we have, uh, we have a bow and three short swords. We don't have anyone that's like bow spec, right? Yeah, I know. I was like, um, oh, I'll go with. I'll just give it give the bow to Johannes, so we have. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, lore, lore. He gets lore a free style. ranged action in orange. Okay. So Johannes will take our bow. Uh, our decrambo. I don't know if it's officially a yeah, decrambo. I don't know if this one's the decrambo. Spiked bow. Uh, oh, it can be used as a melee. That's cool. So it's kind of like the uh, the vault weapon was. Uh, takes arrows, so we can use it as melee, or we can use it as ranged. Right? Yeah. Uh, yes. In the end zone, it's same thing. One damage. Okay, and then everyone else gets swords, dude. You want to distribute those swords out? Yeah. Okay, then we'll jump wait, back. Wait, to I'm the sorry. The spike bow can do melee and range. Is that what you said? Yeah. Cool. That's why it spikes. So you can go poof and punch people in the face yep. with it, which is pretty sick. You could be, uh, you know. Oliver Queen. I could be Oliver Queen. I could, yeah, oh. you could be Oliver Queen right now. Shadow. All right, dude. All right, let's do this. Let's do this thing. The spike bow. That's right. All right, now that we're done getting through some of the remembering how to play a board game with actual physical pieces. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's play this board game with actual pieces, guys. This is the most board game we've played uh, on the air for a while. Yeah, um, the most board game. The yes. most board game-like board game uh, versus making it half digitally. All right, so a seam. I'm just going to start with a seam. And uh, do we push towards the, the catapult, man? Or do we pop this door? No, pop this door so we can get geared up, and then we can get this X. And then we can just destroy that spawn point, and then when we and then, and then make our way across to the trebuchet. All right, and you'll see our character colors down below our names if you're new to the camp here and just seeing. Our character colors represent the miniature that with the base. The miniature bases, yep. A seam is orange, so I'll jump down here. First action. Um, yep. I get two more actions. Got to watch out for my bean boozled bean garbage can. Yeah. Um, uh, evil been... Ed said, how many chains are we going to use? Dude, we are we are power level zero right now. No power chains. level zero, yeah. So yeah. I'm going to jump down here. I'm going to try to pop this door, guys. 
Uh, door gonna pop you. Let's see if I can get yeah, my first door. What, uh, you need a four plus, right? Four plus to pop a door, guys. And watch this and magic, guys. You ready for some magic? Dice flew out of the Boom! Oh, wide Boom. next level plays! Oh my god, we're rolling physical dice too. But I failed, so. Okay. I just make it. So no, you have a you have a your last action. Last action hero. Okay, here we go, guys. One more time. I can't pop a door. That makes sense. A seam's whole job is to open a door. Let's see if we can do it. Okay. Pop it like it's hot. All the dice are rolling away from me. Oh, it's a okay. fail. It's a two. It's a fail. That happened. Okay. It seems the worst, dude. Okay, it seems the worst. Um well, I won't be playing with him ever again. All right, Silly. <laughs> Silly's yeah. going to move down. Silly's going to move down. Silly's green. Silly's going to move down. And Silly's going to do the same thing, dude. Four plus. I'm going to pop this door. Yeah. All right? See if, we can, see if we can do this door thing this time, huh? Are we going to ever open the door? If I keep rolling dice away? Nope. Oh, come All on, right. man. Well, that's, a, that's, a, that's a no-go. One more, one more action. This is the worst first hurt ever. Okay. Thanks, Lau. <laughs> Last action, open a door. This is a classic. Classic crit. Oh, game. it's a oh, door crit. crit. Yes, door crit. <laughs> Guys, we got a door crit. First crit of Green Horde on a door, dude. It's just privy. It's privy. Crits and chat for the door, or we don't move on, right? Know what I'm saying? You get crits and chat for that. Yes, we're nuts, dude. We popped the door oh, with a crit. Right, we got spawns of spawns, dude. <laughs> All right, first spawns, guys. First spawns. You love that green screen, guys? It's amazing, right? Next level plays. Door Next three, Chris one. Okay, so uh, we'll start at the bottom. Okay, man. Here's And here's how the green horde spawns will go for episode one of green horde. You ready for this, Lyle? Ready for this next level yep. stuff? And here we are. We're going to show the first spawn of the green horde. Orc abomination. All right. <laughs> <Damn. laughs> We're gonna die, dude. This is great. We're gonna die of the tutorial. This is gonna be like Kingdom Kingdom Death, White Lion, all over again. Well, here's Sean's a bomb. We got you over yep. here. Well, this won't last very long. Okay, so we got an abomination okay. right there. Cool. All right, stair room. Okay, uh, good thing we did that room. Stair room, we'll just run now. We just have to run for the thing, okay? If we have, we have to, we have, now we have to trebuchet. Yeah. Stair room, walkers. Go, walk, go, walk, go, walk, go. Yep. walker. Okay, so walkers are just green. And now we add one to the thing, right? Yes. Uh, yeah, because it has a horde symbol, so we add yeah, a walker to the horde. So those are the walkers right there. Like... <laughs> Little green guys. So if you see them in green guys, no base. I haven't painted them blue or anything yet. Uh, usually I just paint the walkers blue, but... May need to do that eventually. Um, yep. And then, uh, let's see. Let's jump up to the top room. Top room. Yep. Oh, my gosh, Lyle. Orc Necromancer right off the bat. All right. So put a put a walker, a runner, and a fatty in the in the horde. And we put Necromancer Man out. Okay. We got some walkers. We got runner. This is like Ghostbusters. Yeah, this is like Ghostbusters. This is like the thing. Right. Necromancer goes up there, and okay. then the Necromancer gets a spawn, and then we'll we got a spawn. Sean Patterson's Necromancer is coming in up here, and he gets a spawn, right? Yep. And we got a spawn is spawn. He gets an orc necro spawn. Let me see if I can. Find I mean, this is ridiculous. This is. I mean, is 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 all Green Horde gonna feel this way? <laughs> We've got an orc necro spawn there, which is great. <laughs> And then we spawn his spawn, okay? Yeah, spawn his spawn. Uh, so, so you guys will see I'm using a green screen, so all the green is being like, that's yeah. those sections should be green to remind us of that. Um, they're getting green screened out. We might have to change it back to a different color. Um, yeah. We're gonna spawn his spawn with a fatty, and it's a fatty, and then add a fatty to the horde. <laughs> Brawling Bros, it's, it's hard, guys. It's much harder. <laughs> well, this game was fun. This game was fun. Oh my god! And then we just spawn the blue X room. And then let's spawn one more thing. Wow, good yeah, thing. Why we not? Started you know, why not? Yeah, let's why, why not? I said go to the. Oh, yeah, <sighs> no, no big deal. No big deal. And these things do two damage now. Yeah. Well, the walkers, the fatties, and the necromancers all do two damage. The runners do one damage. Okay. And the well, three damage. I think that was my three actions, right? Yeah. I moved, I, I failed, and then I opened the door with a crit, and uh, on to my third dude. All right, cool. Uh, let's go on to Johannes, which I can only do one damage, so I can't kill this fatty. 
do we do we run to the trebuchet? <laughs> I think it's trebuchet run, guys. Dude, I, I think you're gonna run to the trebuchet, dude. Go, think, go, go, go. I think so. I think we're all the well. Those two dudes are gonna get. Do you have something that does two damage? Yeah. Okay, you Roll can come does. down and fight with him at least. Yeah, I'm running to the trebuchet, dude. <laughs> I mean, maybe run, I should... you fools. <laughs> run, you fools. Maybe I should stay here with you, though, as, like, a range dude. Maybe I can, like... So you can just, like, slash dudes up, and maybe I can, like, just, uh... I can pop, like, the Necromancer with my bow or something. Yeah, somebody... Yeah, well, somebody needs to go, so... What are you gonna do if you don't go right now? If I go, which way should I go? South? I think I'm gonna go south. I think I'm gonna go down and around. I'm gonna go down and around. Down and way. around? Yeah, versus yeah. going straight to the thing. So yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking action economy. You know, one, what are you two, gonna do if you don't go? I'm going right there, dude. I'm just gonna go one, two, three. Screw this. I'm out. <laughs> Screw <laughs> this. I'm out. Can only open crit doors. Exactly. I think that's a fair, fair rule. Okay, one, two, three. I'm done, dude. Uh, your turn. <laughs> uh, deal with cool, this, bro. Deal with this mess, uh, please. Do I run in there? This game was fun. So go down one. That's one action. Yeah. Now I'm going to do Bloodlust Melee. Ooh. He's going to jump in there, huh? I'm going to jump in. It's got powered. Because it's like we started off so bad, I might as well just like make moves. So if we reset, we just reset. <laughs> I figured you'd wait for him to come out to you. All right. So my Bloodlust Melee lets me spend an action. I go in up to two zones to a zone with a zombie and get a free melee. So you get to second attack. action is a melee. Okay. Oh, I got to roll it. <laughs> I was like, where's the it, dice? Yeah. I know, okay. I know. Uh, let, me again. let me try again. Let me try again. Do this. Why is it rolling? <laughs> Goes for it. Gets a four. What do you need? Need a, need a four. Yes, you killed it, dude. All right. So give me an XP. You can do that. Oh, yeah. Dude. <laughs> That's oh, so I'm weird. Sorry, dude. Yeah. So you get an XP. Whoop. Look at that. Yeah. yeah look at that. Next level. <laughs> oh, man. Controlling, controlling our booty app. <laughs> okay, so that's two actions. You moved? Yeah. Well, you could have... No, you had to have line of sight for Bloodlust Melee, right? Yeah. You couldn't have jumped around sight. a corner. All right, so you went one, two, and now you have one more action. I have one more action. Maybe you should... Um, Maybe I should search. Maybe you should run away. You don't want to run away. You're going to have three dudes on you next turn. But I want to oh, pick up this X. I know. Well, you're going to be able to jump in there and get it. You're going to need to stay because you're going to need to take out this fatty and stuff. That's why I was thinking leaving my... Uh, at least my other dudes can help you. None of us can kill this abomination yet. Can we shoot yeah. abominations indoors? Like, if he's inside that building, can we shoot the trebuchet at him? I would assume you can because you'll just basically cave in the, the ceiling. Okay. You know what I mean? All right. Um, Evil Ed, Evil Ed says no. no. So we're going to have to draw him out? Wait, Evil Ed, we can't, we can't trebuchet in, in a building? <laughs> Xbox says same level plays? Brawling Bro says I'm pretty sure you can. Okay. Shoot into buildings. Yeah, I don't remember. I didn't see anything in the rule book that said you couldn't shoot into buildings. Okay. So it's up to you, dude. I would say back out. Yeah, I'm going to back out, dude. <clears throat> I'm also thinking now because of the color of these dudes, unless I paint them or something, uh, they kind of blend into this orc thing, huh? Yeah. Hmm. We're going to figure that out. Yeah, yeah, we got things to learn. We got, we got things to shake off as we get deeper into Green Horde, guys. Um, okay, so you're done. Yep, Next. Done with him. Okay, Rolf's done. All right, so we got Baron, who is and probably... Megan. Hmm. Megan has range. That's right. Huh. I think he's just going to move down one. Is someone going to come with me to go to the trebuchet? We have a I mean, range. I, I, yeah, I will. I will with, with Baron. Okay, so Baron's going to go one, two, three. We're trebuchet crew. Or should I stay back because I'm the one with shove? Oh. Yeah, stay back. Just go one down okay. with him. And then bring, um, yeah. Yeah, my, my girl's going to go with you. Megan. We're going to send all arranged out? I mean, that's fine, I guess. Yeah, because okay. I, can, I can range things from getting to you. Well, my guy's ranged as well. Oh, right. 
<laughs> so we just send all both our range to the trebuchet. Well, they're they're experts in ranged attacks. So there we go. That's a whole first round, dude. Boom, zombie turn, and then you will take the first player token over to you. Um, right. Or no, does it go down to me? No, it goes to you. Yeah, it goes to you. Yeah, it goes to me. It goes to you, Ralph. Rolf. Rolf. Yep. So okay, guys, it's zombie turn. First zombie turn. What spawn should we start? Oh, we're gonna move them. Boom. 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 Okay. Oh, All right, okay. which one do you want to start with? Let's start with the bottom left. Okay. Sounds good. And then we've got four spawns, right? We have to spawn this We one have here. four spawns, yeah, because of the Necromancer spawn. Let me find uh, this one. A little bit easier to see, so we don't forget it. Catabria says, uh, yeah, any spot, range two or more. Yeah, any spot. All right, there you guys go. It can even be a building zone, it says in parentheses. No. Cool. Okay. So thank you so much for that look up. Yeah. All right. So here we go. We've got an orc walker. No hope your no hope your desk that. is looking good, Kyria. Orc walker. And we'll put one in here. So we got the walkers at the top. Okay. Orc walker. We got. Um. This is a. Uh, well, no, it's skipping because we have two necromancers now, right? So we're doing all six necromancer cards in the deck. So this would mean. Spawn a necromancer, right? Whoa. Spawn a necromancer. Spawn a necromancer. Oh, thank you so much for the resub, Mako. Mako with the three months. Thank you so much. We'll, we'll do a spin for you later. We also do a spin for Evil Ed, actually. Oh, okay. So we got so we have K Mike's necromancer coming in, um, in the blue spawn now. Yeah, we are not playing with Cabal rules, guys, but uh, they will be racing to get to their spawn points. So the one, two, three, so four, one five, six. And Walker one, two. So that one, he's just going to go directly south. The other Necromancer is going to go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, he's got um, right we can have him go to the blue or to the green. Dude, this, but we'll probably kill him before he gets there. Dude, this thing's getting pretty packed out here. Um, so we spawned his spawn. That was the Necromancer. The next one was his spawn. We did his spawn. Let's do the other Necromancer spawn. Uh, you, have oh. to, you have to activate the other Necromancer. Yeah, right, yeah. And... I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Did you put a walker, a runner, yes, and a fatty in there? I did. Okay, so now we're going to the necro spawn. Necro spawn at the top is extra activation for all oh, orc dude, fatties. Don't have dude. anybody with zombie link. <laughs> I know. Base level pleb mode. Okay, so fatty activation. Great. Wait, wait, wait. No, is does it happen in blue? Yeah. Oh no, it said none. You're right. We're in blue. Yeah. We're in blue. Okay, so we're good. Uh, and then we have the last spawn. Uh, what about the Necromancer spawn? That's what I just did, dude. That was the Necromancer spawn. Now we're doing the last spawn. Well, what about the original Necromancer spawn? That was the last <laughs> Necromancer oh, okay. spawn, dude. Yeah. Sorry. Um, and now we're going to have Orc Runners, but nothing happens. Woo! Because yeah. we're in blue. That's right. we got to remember this stuff, man. So what spawned with the, ne with the Necromancer that just came out? Nothing? We had a walker on the first spawn. We went yeah. to the Necromancer spawn that came out. Yep. Then we spawned... Uh, oh, we did his things. Oh, we had the fatty activation, runner activation. You're right. We have one more. Yeah, You're right. see? So we you have make, one more. Yeah, you make, you're making me feel like I'm crazy, man. You are crazy, dude. <laughs> Boom. We got walkers, yeah. dude, because this game's too hard, man. That's one good thing about having the not digital version. Yeah. You can actually look through the cards. Yeah. Okay, I have to add one more thing. This is nuts. Okay. Great. Yeah. This is awesome. why you guys wanted us to play this game. We're going to die on the quest. You understand? Quest zero. Yeah. Game is pretty much impossible without the trebuchet. Most important mechanic in this, in this version, says Brawling Bros. Okay. So right. we're running I'm gonna, to it. I'm going to start with uh, Barrett. Okay. Hold up. My dwarf. Let me clear all this noise here. Okay. Starting with Baron. Yeah. Munchausen here. Baron Munchausen. Yeah. Uh, Baron's going to swing a short sword at the Necromancer in our zone. Swings the sword at the Necromancer in our zone. Gets a five. Oh, Kills him. Yes. Okay. Is he worth one XP? Yeah. Okay. okay, and you get to... No, we don't get to remove spawn zones for that. Do we? Or we can remove yeah, we his, do. right? Yeah. Yeah, we can remove a spawn zone. Which one do you want to remove? Oh, wait, no. We can, we can remove one of the two Necromancer spawns. Yeah, we can't right? remove the objective ones. Or the red one. Yeah. I mean, just get rid of his. Okay. Pink. 
Crushed it, dude. Nice. Crushed it. Um, now jump in. You know. Two more actions. Got rid of one necro, guys. One necro down. You know what? Yeah, jump in and swing at the walker. That's it. Gives a swing at the walker. Yeah. You know, it's because we're controlling like a million things right now because, oh, it's a crit, dude. Woo! It's a crit. Good crits to the people. Crits for the people. Nice. All right. Okay. Walker's dead. Walker dead. Who right, that's that's uh that's I'm done here. Okay. Rolf. Uh, let's go to Rolf. 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 Who's gonna bloodlust melee into this fatty? So that's one action to go in there and swing. Jumps in, whips it out. Oh, these things, I've got a table here. Oh, it's a two. All right, let's swing again. Action number two. Got him. Got him. Yes. Okay. Look at you flying uh, up that XP chart. Look at that. Isn't that fancy, guys? Look at that tech, huh? <laughs> Nuts. Nuts. All right, so action number three, I might search. I'll let you pick up this X, dude. Oh, okay, so you're just going to search? Dude, first search, search dude. with the new system. All right, guys, let's see what we get. First search of Green Horde, and it's a sword. Oh, dude, can I duel these? Or yeah, no? gain two dice if North Shore is also equipped. Dude. You see that? Gain this plus two dice of Norse. No, oh, Norse Shield is also equipped. This is Norse Shield, but you can't. I don't think you can do a wield these. Oh, man. Because look, it doesn't have the two hands. So you just have a Norse Sword. That's it. Another Norse Sword. All right. All right. So holding it. I'm just going to have to give it to somebody else then. Okay. You have one more action? No, that was it. Really? I, I Bloodlust meleeed. I missed. I swung oh, again, missed. and now I searched. Okay. On to yeah. Megan. Megan. Uh, Megan. Uh, two on the two. Go one, two, three into the trebuchet. Okay, you got to roll a one because you're going through this hedge, right? Oh. This could be really bad. So you're going to go one, two. And then you have to roll if you're going to jump oh, in. Yeah, roll and see how no one yeah, can see yeah, over Let's there. see what happens here. Okay, let's see. First, first uh, hedge roll. <laughs> We're going to try to hedge our bets here. Yep. Hopefully no walker one time. No walker. Okay, no walk. Woo! All right, so my last action. Oh, God. Yeah, you Do have I to roll go? again. Go, yeah, go to the trebuchet, dude. Wait, what's your range? Oh, zero to one. I was going to say you yeah. could go for this necro. No, I can't. I mean, you might as well. I can't. One, two. No, I won't be able to punch him in the butt if I go in. I can. I have a I have a melee weapon. Um, You know what I mean? Once we're both in there, we might have to take a bite. But, but uh, even brawling bros said that they the, these these hedges have killed them before. <laughs> have so you think I shouldn't I shouldn't go? Yeah. Well, no. I, I mean, you could. You're no, just, I'm gonna go. We have to go. I'm coming in there too. Yeah. So you're gonna jump in? Yep. Okay. Goes through the hedges. Jumps through the hedges. Oh rolls for the uh, rolls for the walker. Uh, Ismati, I, I would, I would, oh, I would never crit. buy that game. Crit avoid it. <laughs> Got it. You're good. All right, man. My turn, huh? Uh, what was Ismati saying? Well, Mog he, has great, uh, he, has a, he has a great idea for a new game called Mog Bogs Workshop. A bunch of random robot electric parts get dumped on a table. You build things out of them, and then Mog Bog tells you why they're terrible. <laughs> that sounds amazing. Uh, this is basically a crit camp. <laughs> we, yeah, Mog we, Bog. Mog Bog 2020. We spend all this time building the show. We put everything on the table, and then chat comes in and tells us why it's terrible. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is, it is Crit Camp. <laughs> yeah, this is basically you just described Crit Camp the board game. Just rebranded re as Mahdi as Crit Camp, <laughs> Crit Camp's stream, the streamer game. <laughs> Mog Bog calling like, the Crit Camp experience. Stream, streaming board games. Yeah, just call it streaming <laughs> board games. <laughs> um, okay, so my turn, huh? Um, yep. What do we have left up there? Uh, Abomination. Okay, um, I have Rolf, and I have Selly up there. Um, oh, or, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Canabria has a good point. Underneath the hedges, is that 
that's water. Is that a ledge or is that oh, a bank? Oh, right. Because I might not have been able to cross. Going into water is nothing, but... Uh, you're right. You couldn't cross there because I think that I... is a ledge. All right, so I can't cross there. Right, so this is a bank. Yep. So, you, yeah, you'd just be here. Yep. Thanks, Catibria. Oh, yeah, we forgot about the water tech. <laughs> maybe maybe the 3D hedges are just going to, like... <laughs> We have to get used to the no the, yeah, the yeah, water yeah. tech here. Oh, thanks, Cat. Actually, though, catch, can I go up and around the trebuchet no. um, north? I mean, you can, no, it takes an action to move through water. You jumped into water, oh, yeah, so it takes yeah, two yeah, actions for you to traverse water. I get you. So you're stuck where you are. So that I'm means if I come in there with um, if I come in there with Johannes, I can really yeah. just jump in with you and roll for a. a no, you're in there, so I don't have to roll for anything. So with his turn, I'm just going to go. Yeah, 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 exactly. I'm just going to yeah. go and I jump in the water with you, dude. Too. And I didn't get to use the splash effect because I forgot there's water in this map. So we both yeah. just jumped in the water. All right. We have we have water sound effects, guys. Water tech. Water tech. Yeah, water, water tech, dude. Water tech. We got water Flex tech. Seal. We got seal. we got uh, CG. We got everything here, guys. We got yeah, This is crit camp. See where, see where all your support's going? Yes. <laughs> it's going places. All right. So Johannes is done. Um, maybe I'll just jump in with Selly. Um, go in and, and get the X, dude. No, nah, I'd rather I'd rather get a seam. What do we want? Taunt or, or jump better? I think I want a seam to be more badass. So I'm gonna start with a seam. He's gonna go in and grab his X. Yep. So a seam moves in. He grabs the X for my second right, action. So let me give you five XP, which gives me five XP and means that uh, we crush an objective. Right? Isn't that just what it yep. is? All objective right, dude. Achieved. We crushed one of them. That <laughs> loose spawn zone is now gone. Objective achieved. And you have one more action left. Okay, guys, we're progressing. Progress. Okay, this guy's spawn's still there, though. Yep. This is gone. All right, we yep. got one. Um, that was one, two, and I'm just going to back out because I don't want to die. Okay. So, what's our next push here? Uh, Red X. So, the... Or the two X's are over there. Where's the, uh... Oh, that's hidden in those. So we just all have to head that way, don't we? To where? Over... To, I mean, though you got those over two... Over to dudes, the red X's? Yeah. Those two dudes are ahead of the trebuchet. Plus, we got to get to the exit. Um, yeah. So... But don't worry. Like, Baron's going to shove this dude and run. So we okay. can just run. We can just run for now. Which way yeah. do we want to go? Through the hedge? Towards trebuchet? Through the hedge and, yeah, through the door that's next to the trebuchet. I think that's our best bet. Um, yeah. Even though, no, I'm going to jump in and search. Well, I have an opportunity. I'm going to jump yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to do the second search ever of our Green Horde experience. Here it is. Let's see second what we search. get. Search. Second search. Hopefully, it's not some more uh, starting equipment. It's salted meat. It's salted meat. Are you just going to take that? I'm just going to eat it, dude. Just give me an XP okay. on, uh, oh, I'm Selly right now. It. Yeah, I'll just I take it. I won't even find it for you. I'm going to nom, 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 nom. Yeah, I don't even know why I scanned that in. <laughs> All right, that's discarded. Good, right. good for us, dude. So now you have six XP with him. No, Selly. No, dude. That's, oh, Selly. Selly. His I'm turn's sorry. done. I only I should have five XP with my dude because he just moved out. Yeah, then Selly should have one, uh, and then she moved back out. Okay, we're done. All right, man. I think those are all, right, all my dudes. All right, zombie token. turn. First player token will go to me, and it's a zombie turn. Zombie. Yep. So he jumps in the water. He moves up here onto you guys. He moves south one, and he moves into the water. Okay. Yeah, we gotta remember there's water on this in this game now. Yeah. <laughs> That's so weird. There's a lot of water. Why is there so much water in Green Horde? I don't know, dude. Can you really tell us why there's so much water now in the city? Um. Okay. That's it. Now we do some zombie yeah. turn. Zombie turn. Zombies. Zombies. See what happens. There's zombies. Is necromancer activation because we only have two and i no, we killed one so one comes we back. killed one so this one so this one comes out dude <laughs> and then the other one activates great great here we are sean Patrick. oh thanks so much brawling bros sean appreciate Patrick's that back out what was that he's taking off i'll go I just can't believe the time and energy you guys put into digitizing is completely unreal hats off completely unreal <laughs> it'll get better hopefully but we appreciate yeah. the kind words it doesn't hurt as bad you know his Madi would just be what is this garbage yeah what is this garbage time 
What is this chat? I didn't realize it was chat time hour. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so i got to put one of each here. I'm starting to get in the habit of this. Um, yeah, man. Uh, so that's it. So the necro's out. Oh, we got to move the other necro. So he's headed where? South? Yeah, yeah he's, he, he's headed straight south, yeah. Okay, so he moves down there. All right, that was the first spawn. Second spawn, the necro spawn to the north there. Is another necromancer activate? So this is just an activation. So they both not activate. Do we still do the spawn in the? I think we do. I still. I, th I think we still add a walker, a fatty, and a runner to the horde. I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. So I have to add another walker, runner, and fat dude. That thing's getting nasty over there. Yeah. So what spawned down there with him? Nothing. Oh, this would be the spawn down there. You're right. I didn't spawn his spawn. That would be oh, okay. his spawn. Yeah. So. Yeah, they just activate. Move and up. then, so he bites one of us for two damage. And this happens here. That's, it's one more than, than Black Plague. He bites one of us for two damage, dude. Ah! Yeah. So, so what do we do? Uh, Johannes or Megan. 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 Um, who, I'll who? just, I guess Megan will take it, dude. Okay. All right. Two damage. That doesn't look like it's in the... <laughs> you got to put it in the hole, dude. Look at this. Look at this. There you go. Hey. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, we took two damage. Uh, we moved it up. And now we have to spawn the other necro spawn to be legit. Other necro spawn is... Orc nothing. Uh, nothing, because we're not in yellow. That was... That was oh, man. Yeah. Woo! We got lucky there. Got lucky there. All right. Kay. And then we have the green spawn, right? Uh, yes, green spawn, because we destroyed the other spawn. Yep. It's... Enter the Enter horde. The no. Of course, a blast spawn. Uh, and Ron Gross called it. Said that horde, guys. That horde. It's cut. So they all fall onto the green spawn. Oh, here they come. And that ends the spawning. Oh, good. I'm so glad that ends the spawn phase on the last spawn there. Yeah. How am I gonna fit these on here? Oh my god. This is like. Ridiculous. Everyone, yeah. <laughs> it's the end. Winter is coming. <laughs> Winter's here. Winter is here. How am I supposed to do this? How are we going to survive? This is stupid. Do I just pile them on there? <laughs> like, what do I do? Okay. Are we going to die on the tutorial? Dude? No, we got to we gotta fire this trebuchet next turn. Okay, that was fun. There's your first... Uh... Yeah, that's great. That's cool. All right, treb time, as the kids uh, all right. say. Well, you're, you're up first, dude. I'm up first. All right, so am I going to jump into this thing? I think so. It's good I have a melee weapon, Well, you have, a, you have a necromancer with you, so... Oh, I have to fight him first. I better punch him in the butt. You got. You do. You have to punch him in the butt, dude. All right, dude. I'm going to punch him right in the butt here. Here we go. One time with a spiked bow. Dude. First spiked bow kill. What do I need? Four plus. Four plus, dude. All right, man. Let's get this... Oliver Queen. Oliver Queen. Oliver, Oliver Queen, Queen, man. Oliver Queen. Oliver Queen. Slap the water. Slap the water. Slap the water. I missed. Oh, you have, you I have missed. failed the city, dude. <laughs> Slap the water again. Do it again. City. <laughs> Shadow didn't teach me anything, dude. Okay, I'm gonna try this again one time. Oh, you have really hilarious. failed this city. Can you kill this guy, please? I'm like, Pff. and the guy's just like, <laughs> <laughs> necromancer's like, what? All right, dude. The last attempt to punch him in the face. Punch him in the face, or we all die. Yes, I pulled it off. <laughs> oh. I'm like 33 percent accuracy. Man. All right, which, which spawn should I get rid of though? I think the one yeah, down. Get rid of. Want to get rid of the this one? Yeah. Do we care about the northern one? Want to get rid of the north, dude? Because we're all gonna end up being actually. We're headed to the south there because we need to check these X's. Yeah. And this is a gap. All right, so you can get you can get rid of the uh, the south one, I guess. Because then once we get this trebuchet, we can remove that red one, and we'll be clear in the Yeah. Cell. Okay, so we remove that one. So uh, that took me a while to get one XP, huh? Oh, so here's here's a next level tip from uh, Xbox and Brawling Bros. What if you had a mini that looked like it was like, like, like a proxy for the group, and then you can keep the mob um, off the board? Yeah, well, this is the same problem we've been having with Rum and Bones. So we don't have to move, like, a ton. Um... Like, I'd have to say this guy represents, like, five fatties or something. Yeah. Uh, I, you know, I don't have something, because <laughs> that's a great idea. 
I mean, you could use uh, our like little Diablo. <laughs> I mean, it's, it would have to have something for each type. And then once it goes to four, they're just going to come out anyway. But we had one mini for the horde, then two boards off the board, the active horde and the horde collection board. That's yeah. a good idea, Brawling Bros. Yeah, yeah, and then you can just put P. Baelish down on the board to represent the Horde. Because, right, well, right now the Horde section is now gone, right? Yeah. Um. So I would have to have, yeah, like I'd have to have the impending Horde and then a new Horde accumulating. Yeah. Just remove one from the active Horde board. Okay, so I need another active Horde section, basically. Yeah. So if we had this, I could say, like, active Horde amount is, like, down here. This is a good idea. This is good. This is good. We've got to work through this. Yep, and Catabria says use your first player token. Oh yeah, I have a. Uh, well, you're saying. This but I would I would rather use uh, P Baelish, dude. A uh, pew, pewter Baelish. <laughs> I just don't want to bring something out that we forget. I mean, because these are the first player tokens things that I have. Yeah. Um, but I think this is fine. I think I like leaving one fatty, a runner, so we know what's out here. The runner represents the runners. The walker represents the walkers. And they just stay together. Yeah. Um, and we just remember that this these these three are a horde. Problem yeah. is when we start splitting them. Yeah, when we start splitting them, it gets a little. Now you're gonna get screwed. And but at that point, if those split, then I can just bring the horde dudes out and be like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, use the spider. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We could use a spider. I could use the giant guy with a thing. I've got huge things. But I think if someone yeah. were to pop in and watch this game, they're gonna be like, well. What? What is this, Peter? What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Um, we want it to remain clear. So, no, I like this idea. This, I think, stays clear is that we have some guys off. They're down here. And we have an empty horde. This is the accumulating horde. This is the... Yeah. And I can just tell you when you need to know what's there. That's another That's another good idea, OCS1 says. Like, if oh, you yeah. use different colored poker chips, you can stack them all up to say mm. how many there are with one on top. That's a great idea. That's, yes. of, that's of that kind. So everything that's stacked is like walkers and everything yeah, that's this stacked. This is good. I'm glad, I'm glad we're baddies. working through this. Um, that's actually pretty awesome, yeah. Should I go get poker chips? Should I do it now? That's actually pretty, that's a pretty great idea, yeah. Yeah, I like that. We've, we've now workshopped this, guys. This is awesome. Yeah. Use the abominator rat to represent the horde. Uh, no, I like that idea. I mean, it will, it'd be hard to count, but you can kind of see it, right? Um, yeah, but then we'd be able to just take out a chip every time. Yeah, like, we let, me go, let, let me go. Let me go. Let me go. All right, here we go. You guys just got him really excited, and I think he, because because I think he he's gonna be able to use these ships for the first time ever. I, uh, my guess is he, he's gonna grab the the uh, villain con chips that we got at TwitchCon 2017 when we crashed the Blizzard party, and um, we we're all hanging out at the party. This guy wins a prize, and instead of taking. Uh, you know, a couple codes for Heroes of the Storm or a backpack. He decides to take the the heaviest thing <laughs> that he could possibly this. have <laughs> to the dance floor, and now he's hanging oh. out for hours on the dance floor with <laughs> with a set of poker chips. This thing weighs. I think we showed it on air when we got back from Blizz, uh, TwitchCon. Yeah. But yeah, this is it, guys. This is what I won at, at the BlizzCon party, the VillainCon party. <laughs> this thing weighs a ton. It's literally like oak. <laughs> it's like so heavy. And it just sits on my the bar. Uh, uh, <laughs> let me open up the latches. Kachink. <laughs> ah yes. Okay, so we've got red. Oh yeah, here we go. Red. We yeah, use red for runners. Yeah, definitely. If you guys want to see, it's actually really nice. I have a villain con themed. Dude, if you have poker red, set. yellow, and blue, those are our those are our colors, bro. It's really red nice. Walkers. Yeah. Walkers, it's, runners, and fatties. It's really nice. Um, it's kind of unorganized because I've had to fix stuff in it, but yeah, the, I'll show it on camera here. The chips all say Villain Con 2017. So for all the Blizzard fans out there, this was something like you can't get anywhere, which is really cool. And uh, won it playing blackjack with uh, Steve <laughs> at the Villain Con. <laughs> um, I also even have some cool like um, I still have some cards. If anyone does, anyone chat still play Heroes of the Storm? So yeah, we'll call this the OC Dicks guys. Like great ideas. And this is exactly what this tutorial episode we needed to do was work with you guys and make it awesome. So let me just grab a bunch of blues. Sorry for the time out here. Um, I have blue, black. We need blue, red. We need blue, red, and you have, if you have yellow, that's those are our usual colors for these things, but they can be anything. Um, let's see. Blue for the walkers, red for the runners, and what, green? I'll do green. Yeah, I'll do green. 
Okay, green. I have green gray. I have gray and black. I think green. Do, yeah, do the green. Green? Yeah. Okay, I don't think we'll ever have more than that, but... Yeah, guys, this this was a really cool set. That's this why I wanted to keep it. I had to pay yeah. extra nice clay. Oh, they're heavy. That's why this thing weighs a pound. They are clay. Oh yeah, chips. yeah. Didn't you go? Didn't your bag go overweight? Uh, they, uh, <laughs> they also came with red dice in there, which was kind of cool, I guess. If you need dice for any reason with the poker, it's got a dice tray in the bottom. You lift out the the poker chips, and in oh, the bottom, there's, it's all felt lined and it has a bumpers for your dice. But then it also came, and I think Lyle, you got these. I think a lot of people got these, but we got. I got Villain yeah, Con I still have those. Yep. 2017 card set. Like, the Blizzard went all out at this random... Uh, yeah. It was a costume party that we had to get yeah. into. Um, I have an open pack somewhere. I think it's on the bar. I'd have to go. Or it's maybe up there or something. But it has, like, uh, it has um, Blizzard characters in it. Like, Diablo's in it. Sylvanas is in it. And stuff like that. Yeah. And all the cards are custom Blizzard Villain Con 2017 uh, cards. Yeah. So it was a really cool set to get. And now we're actually getting to use it. So... <laughs> Yeah. I don't play as much poker anymore as I used to. But hey, guys, if we ever have a crit con and it's not anywhere far, I'll bring the villain con set and we can play villain con poker. What do you guys say? Very nice. All right. All right. So um, Mako uh, has a good point that you should still keep the minis out um, yeah. to count for activations, extra activations. Oh, yeah. Keep them unavailable. Yeah. That's yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Keep them unavailable. Yeah. Look at this, guys. You guys are the best camp on Twitch. Best camp on Twitch. Yeah. You guys are making it. Tell us what you want. That's right. Tell us ideas or things that make this better. That only. All right. See you, Evil Ed. Oh, Evil Ed's gonna take off. Oh, he has work. Right. Day stream. Yep. And fingers crossed, ETG. Hope you get the job. Oh, ETG, going for a job, man. Good luck, dude. Good luck, man. Let us know. Okay. So the way this is gonna work is I have one plus three, right? So he'll count as one. Yep. Plus three, and then we have. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three, four. I'll put five, and he'll be six. Yep. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. So I need five of the greens. Look at this, guys. This is awesome. Look at that, guys. Like we're in Vegas. Hey, yo. Hey. It's like we're playing Las Vegas with Dan Patrice. Hey, there we go. Hey, 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 hey. poker chips, guys. Good hey. job. Cheers to you guys, man. You guys are making our production that much better. We appreciate the kind words, but you guys make it better. Now you guys are cooking with fire. Analog gaming. That's yeah, right. That's what I'm talking about. Cook, cooking with campfire, baby. Analog gaming in a digital world is what we're doing right yep. now. Um, just slide this down just a bit. Okay. Billy, move the camera. Uh, Thank see you. you. See you, DeCrambo. I go to, got to go as Bellas is coming around. It doesn't look good. <laughs> Cricket <can't> work. <laughs> Well, we appreciate all you guys hanging out with us for the day stream and making it even better. So it's awesome, guys. We really appreciate it. And it'll only get better once we, uh, we if you guys know you want to see content, hopefully Cool Mini or Not will come out with the app sooner and make it even faster. Happy New Year, Whoa, Narcolectic Penguin. Narcolectic Penguin. What? what up? How Happy are you? New Year. Take care, Categoria. Or I don't know who, I don't know. Everyone's saying bye to people now. I don't yeah. know who's <laughs> leaving and who's staying, who's actually going somewhere. Guys, yeah. we're still playing. I just had to get my poker set out. Hold on. Okay. We're still playing. I promise. Yeah. Um, okay. So. Uh, what's going on here? We've got the horde just entered, right? Yeah, yeah. We 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 just ended zombie spawn phase. Okay, so, so that's where we are. So it's my turn. Are up. Okay, my turn. So I'm gonna start with uh, Selly up here, and uh, let's see which way do we want to go. Um, let's go. You know how? You know what? This whole idea that just got developed up here, the OCS one strat with the poker chips, we could do this yeah. in rum and bones. Yeah. Dude, you guys just might have just figured out how we get Roman Bones back to stream. What? <laughs> That's a, that was a great idea. Okay, I need smaller, less clay chips though for that. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. Um, I think our two dudes are doing trebuchet over there. Um, I'm gonna start with him and I'm gonna jump trebuchet wise. Okay. Um, so you, you, it's two actions to get to the trebuchet. And then I'll have ledge. one more action if I need to punch a dude in the face, right? Because if there's a if there's a zombie on the other side yeah, of this, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so I'm gonna hop out of the water here. So two actions, boom, boom. Two actions to get in through this hedge. All right, roll now, the die. There, now we get to roll the die. See if there's a, a walker waiting for me back here, a wet walker or something. Yeah, wet walker. Wet walker. Nope. No, nope, crit, crit avoidance. Woo. Um, no walker. So I've got one more action. I could fire that. No, I don't have enough. No, action. it takes three actions to fire, dude. So now I could open the. Can I open a door with this thing? No, you I can't can. do anything. Oh, I can search. No, I can't. I'm outside. No, you can't search in there, but you can open the door there. 
No, I can't. I don't have a way to open a door with this. Oh. I'm just stuck here. Well, okay. there's no zombie when you come in now, so. Okay, he's That's done. True. Okay, so Selly. Uh, Selly's going to take two actions, go. Oh, wait, no, no, I'm sorry. This is still you up. Yeah. Yep, Selly, I'm going to go one, two, three, I guess, and just head towards Trebuchet? Yeah. Okay. Two, three. Gonna do yep. that for now. I mean, I could open another door. I could try to open one of these south doors, but I don't think we need to. No, we don't need um, to. And then I'm going to go with a seam. Oh, it seems in here with the bomb. I have to. I can still expel an action and just run. Yeah, you can spell an action. Run. So spin an action and get here. No, it seems not in there, dude. It seems orange. Oh, that's you. Oh, it seems yep. not in there. Okay, one, two, three. Yeah. Yep. I'm out of here, dude. I'm out of here. Sorry, I thought Rolf. I thought it was blue. I was looking one too far over. All right, dude. Your turn. All right, roll. Um, I'm gonna start with Baron. He's gonna shove for free. So shove the bomb south. Pushes, uh, yeah, and then, push um, it. Just run one, two, three. What's the trebuchet? Uh, Rolf is gonna run same way. One, two, three. And then Megan's gonna do one, two uh, into the trebuchet. Okay. Two, three D things. Oh, actually, oh. I mean, yeah, can... that's that's fine. Yeah. yeah now we don't have line of sight in that corridor. Now our 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 boys are gonna have to. Jump through the hedges with no lot of sight. Into the water. Yeah. Okay, well, we got into the... We're now on trebuchet, and we're yep, inside these uh, hedges, guys. <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> yep. I don't know. Three So far, 3D hedges, okay. They look okay, but look, this is what it... I mean, this kind of... That still looks like a hedge, right? Yeah. I mean, we may end up just not using the 3D hedges. I don't know. It's real, It makes it really clear, though, that that's where they are. Yeah. Yeah, you know? I mean, over time, I guess we'll find out if it's really yeah. helping us or hindering us. But in person, it's kind of neat. Gives it a yeah, good I kind of like I kind of like the way it looks yeah. on stream, dude. All right, yeah. All right. So I'll just kind of put it there. So we got a hedge. <laughs> got these giant hedges. Yeah. Um, okay, are you done? I guess that's it. Yep. Okay, zombie that's turn. The zombie turn, dude. He's gonna go splish splash, taking a bath. Or he's gonna go this way, right? Because he's headed here. Right? Is that? He's headed this way. Uh, no, he was, yeah, he was here. Yeah, he was headed that way, yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. So then he's going to go here. This dude, uh, I guess he would go this way. Oh, man, I lost the first player marker. Hold on, hold on. All right, so, oh, good, you deleted it? That's Thanks, dude. Yeah, I deleted it by accident. Hold on. So in terms of this, just to make sure go. we know where he's going, he's going to go to the noisiest because we have no line of sight, but we have... Equal lines of sight. Does he split? The noisiest. There's no noisiest because we all ran. Yeah, we're all equal. Um, yeah, so I think they they split, man, right? Would it split there or just go towards the closest? I mean, no, I think they split, dude. Right. Distance doesn't matter, dude. Um bank i think this is a bank yeah so on page 26 of the rule book if no survivors are visible they move towards the noisiest zone in both cases distance doesn't matter yeah and this... an orc zombie always goes for the noisiest meal they can see or hear and this is a bank i think i think that's a bank so he can yeah. go that way all right. he can go that way yeah boom, boom. all right and then we're gonna move our horde but we've got runners so boom and then they split So you have one, two. And one, two. Okay. Look at that. Poker chip split. So what is what is that, uh, this little white frothy thing? That is just a bank? Yeah. What? Right here? Yeah. Yeah, that would be like if you put it against a tile, like, because that's a split between the tiles. So if it was got against, it, like, it, an it. area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's like a bank. Okay. Yeah, it's, an, it's a okay. bank there. But in this map, it's just water. It's just straight got water. It. So maybe it's where water's pouring in or coming out Got of the it. ground Got or something. It. Yeah. Um, and I think uh, I'm done moving. So it's zombie spawn. It's zombie spawn time. Yeah. Zombie spawn time. Three of them. Boom. Nothing in Nothing. sight. Woo. That was an orc walker. Okay. So that was in the bottom left. Yeah. We then have uh, the top left. Top left. Orc walkers. Walker. And put a walker into the new horde. The new horde. The new horde order. Yep. Okay, and then go to the green spawn, right? No other spawns. Yep. 
Separate than that. Clear the card. Spawn. Enter the horde. <laughs> Enter the horde, dude. Be horde. Okay. All right, he's coming in by himself on the green spawn. There's the horde, oh. dude. New horde. <laughs> New horde. Dude. Who dis? New horde. Just a walker. Who dis? Yeah. I am the horde. All right, dude. Uh, I think you're first. You were first, my man. Uh, yeah. You posted an Insta? You posted an Insta? Hitting your spot of your, uh, No, no. I snapping? Have to, uh, you snapping right now? I take care of something for... I'm, I'm going to New York tomorrow, guys. Um, and I'll be gone for a week for business. And my uh, my business partner needs me to do something really quick. But So I'm going to take my turn and I'll take a 30-second break to do something. Um, Why so... the split not just north? Because there's equal noise. Um, there was equal noise here there's equal noise over here so technically it could go that way or this way yeah is what we're saying so he just split all right so so my 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 girl megan is gonna launch this trebuchet do we care about the bomb right now or do we want to take care of some of the horde i don't know if we care about the bomb we're kind of running away from it maybe we should clear some of this you want me to clear that that whole Walker's fatty situation? So don't you pick for the zombies, says Sean. He's saying we actually get to pick. I know it's weird that we've been playing this game for like almost five years, but we I still know, always I have know. this conversation. Um, zombie movement. Orc zombies first select their destination zone. First is the zone with survivors in line of sight uh, with the most noise tokens. If no survivors are visible, they move towards the noisiest zone. In both cases, distance doesn't matter. An orc zombie always goes for the noisiest meal they can see or hear. Uh, they move one zone towards the destination, taking the shortest available path. If there are no open paths in the noisiest zone, zombies move toward it as if all doors were open. If there's more than one route of the same length, um, orc zombies split into groups of equal numbers. If there's not... If... Equal... Um, wait. They also split up if different target zones contain the same number of noise tokens. Which they each have two. In this case. Yeah. So, because each, each survivor counts as a noise, so... I think that's right. I think what we did is right. I think what we did is right, because they have the same number of noise tokens. I know they're different distances, but it, there's no line of sight, so... Yeah. So they would all be equal noise without line of sight means we should split it. I mean, Sean's trying to house rule us right now, but... Yeah. We're not going to fall into the the, the Sean yeah, we're trap. We're not going to fall into the trap. <laughs> All right. So, uh, why don't you fire? Let's fire this uh... our siege engine. How many How many walkers are there in there in that zone? There are one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Let's do um. Let's do scatter shot. Do scatter shot, dude. Yeah. Do scatter shot onto the walker zone. Walker horde zone. Scatter shot is two dice. It is six dice. Six dice. Four All plus dice. one damage. Four plus one damage. What's the two? Oh, you need two range. Okay, so Trebuchet, here we go. Taking the shot. All right, all off screen. That's cool. <laughs> Did they all really go outside the camera? How is that possible? Oh, they're not all off. Oh, it's all pointed right there. Boom. So nothing. It's four plus. We hit one. Oh, one. Yeah. Where is it? Right here. Right, right there. So... Remove a poker chip and remove one from that uh, horde zone off the... Yeah. <laughs> we got one, so no one gets XP for that. All right, right so Megan gets one XP. Oh, Megan that, does. Okay, sucks. you do get XP. Cool. <laughs> and it doesn't make that noise. Cool, and that was your entire turn. Uh, yep. Now, Rolf is going to go one, two into the water. Uh, he's going to have to roll for a hedge, dude. Two in the water, splashes into the water, roll for... Uh, do you have... Oh, yeah, no one's out there anymore. That's right. Yeah, roll, roll the hedge, dude. Hedge the roll. Nope, you're good. Five. I'm good. I have a third action. You don't have any range, so... Uh, do you want me to stand out here and clear this guy? Oh, you yeah, can bloodlust blood melee. Lust, should I bloodlust melee this guy? Yeah, because you can do that out of the water, right? Because you're on a bank. You can go to south. No, it's water to water, so that still takes two actions, I think. Even with bloodlust. Yeah. Ah. Because it said, yeah, abilities don't uh, hinder it, right? 
yeah, what up, history yeah. buff? Checking the giveaway. That's right, guys. Don't forget that giveaway is still open right now. So I guess that's also it. 1, I guess that's all I can do here. Get in on the giveaway. Don't forget, use your crits for watching, hanging out, watching some Green Horde action, helping us make it awesome. This is our way of paying you back for all that support. Bits, donations, yeah. all that goes into the pool. And uh, every time we break through uh, the 100%, we, we give something away. This time it's a custom cramp. Anyway. So you're good? You're just going to chill? Yeah, I'm good. I don't think I can do anything. Okay, and then um, my dude Baron's going to go one, two into the water. One, two into the water. He jumps into the yeah. water. Welcome to the water, dude. Yeah, welcome to the water. Welcome to the water. Welcome to water wo world. Water world. Okay. Uh, uh, right, I'll be right back. I just have to take care of something really quick. Okay. I think what I'm going to do with Johannes, guys, is I'm going to trebuchet as well. Nope. Giveaway closed. Reld won. Oh, so, uh, that sucks. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Uh, Reld decided he just won. Uh, I'm going to fire this trebuchet. I think I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to scatter shot, which is a uh, six dice, four plus, and uh, see if we can fire this thing off, man. Hope for the best, guys. I'm going to fire it at the same zone. Oh, we got double crits. Woo! But, so I think that would mean when Lyle gets back, he owes you guys some crits to get in on the giveaway. Buy tickets. So, boom. Because we got one, two, three kills there. But uh, we got some some dudes dead. I only do one damage with scatter shot, right? Isn't that what the the rule is with this thing? Yeah. So I can only kill. Or who was I firing it with, Johannes? So I'll get three. So I can only kill these dudes. So we'll take away one, two, three of our bros over here, and get three XP with Johannes. So I'll go to four. Okay. Boom. And that's crazy that that's my whole turn, right? All right. Got to get those crits in chat. No one, Nobody first to crit? I'll make sure Lyle knows. You get a one per. We got two there. I'll do bonus all one. Did I do it right? Nope. I did it wrong. Did it not work? Oh, it's, it's a space. I see. <laughs> I don't know my own commands. Bonus, all one. Boom. Now you all got... Oh, no. You, I, but I bonus all another one. There. Because you got two crits. Ha-ha! <laughs> Chris figured out his own commands. Woo! Okay. Um, Selly. Now we have to push through this thing. Uh, Johannes there. Are we just all jumping in on this trebuchet mode? That sucks. We just blew both our turns there. We don't have anyone to open this door to the south of us. I think I'm just jumping in the water and then using both my actions to move out and, and jump into trebuchet, dude. Because Selly's lame. I don't have any gear. So I'm going to jump into the water and then use two actions to get into this very tight trebuchet area. Got oh, sorry about that, trebuchet. guys. What I miss? Um, I shot the trebuchet, killed three things, and bonused everybody. I got two crits with it, though. Nice. You need me to give you XP? No, I already did the crits. I already gave the XP. Awesome. Um, and then I'm just going to jump in the water with this guy and jump into trebuchet mode. Okay. Um, you can't go one, two, three. I can do one into the water, and I spend two to jump in there. So perfect. Yeah. Okay, got it. So you know, you went away for a while. You know, you're coming back and just like you know, saying I'm doing stuff wrong. You know, you've been gone. You were gone for three years. You know, dude, I'm sorry. It's dude. been three years since you. I'm left. sorry. Was I in the Speed Force, dude? You went away, and you've been gone for like three years, dude. You were gone so long. <laughs> Euclidean Mind hosted us. The the president of the United States, Euclidean Mind. President Supreme, who's now... Oh, my God. Yeah, he's vice, president. Vice, vice Chancellor. He got voted in, Euclidean Mine, and he just hosted us, which is super awesome. So thank you for that, Euclidean Mine. Appreciate that. And he says, greetings. Thank you. Greetings, President Euclidean Mind. Lyle, uh, do you know how to do the the greeting right? Otherwise, law states that if you don't greet him properly, you oh, get I'm sorry. sacrificed you know there's, to... There's two things I don't know about this new timeline. One, yeah. uh, how to do the proper greeting. Number two, what are the seashells used for? We don't talk about the seashells, Lyle. Oh, Lyle's the, dead, guys. Yeah, Rip the, the Lyle. Three, the three seashells in the bathroom. What are they? <laughs> Rip Lyle. Rip Lyle, guys. He's not never. Like, Euclidean Mind made a very strict rule that all of society follows that says you do not speak of the seashells, but one must <laughs> always have three seashells in your bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> Sad. Yeah. Sad. Yeah. And yes, board games are now a fe federal funded program. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Um, okay, I think I'm done, dude. So it's gonna be my turn. I'll be first player next. Uh, zombie turn, man. I didn't, couldn't really thin the horde too much. Jumps down. This guy moves up. This guy keeps heading this way. Yep. While these bros 
heading towards us now. These guys go here. That's true, OCS1. That, that is true. That is this true. Is the same distance. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Crap, they split. I mean, I would love it, man. You know, you think, think, you know, speaking of like sequels or reboots or something like that, like how how hilarious would it be if they did a, a Demolition Man two right now? <laughs> two left. Oh, I forgot to remove one. Okay. Did I remove three? Okay, so he's gone. So then this is one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'll do two and two, three. I guess I don't need to do it for the lower numbers, but whatever, we'll keep it. Yeah, that's all right. You're already you're already doing it. And six. It's nice to know that these guys were from the horde. Yeah. Okay, from the horde, from the horde, for the horde. This guy goes for the two, horde, for the horde. This guy goes here. This guy goes yep. there. Yep. Yep. Uh, this guy comes out. Arr. Okay. Done. Spawn time. Oh man, this spawn board. time. Okay, bottom left. We just got to get used yep. to it. We'll get faster and we'll get used to it and look better. So all the board games are Monopoly and Trouble. Same time. Yeah. Yeah. It's a weird timeline, dude. Uh, let's here we go. Timeline. Bottom left. Assemble the horde. Orc runner. Here we go. Top left. Top left. Necro spawn is... A necro activation. Necro activation. One of each. And then. Oh, we have to add another necro. He's back. Yeah, we have to add a necromancer. Yeah, spawn is spawn. The other guy moves. Oh, this is bad, dude. Yeah, he's gonna get there. We gotta trebuchet him, man, dude. We gotta add the things. Yeah, add the things. One of each. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Uh, then we uh, spawn. spawn his spawn. Spawn his spawn. Which is enter the horde. <laughs> All right, so so those guys go up to his spawn, and then we don't spawn anymore. That that ends the spawn. Thank God. Dude, this is this is like hard. Yeah, this dude. game hard, dude. <laughs> this game like hard. This game gonna take forever for us to beat. <laughs> yeah. Treb time. That's right. Treb. Yeah. Now I'm seeing why the treb trebuchet is so important. All right. Did you move the first player token? Nope. It'll be me first. Okay. Yeah. So it'll be you first then. Okay. Well, we got four dudes in here with the trebuchet, and we yep. need to get through this door to get this X. Yeah. And then once, oh, we can use the trebuchet at any time to destroy this other spawn. By the way. Yeah. Um, targeting priority. If if we fire on the spawn with dudes in it, does it go away? I think it. I think it. Um, it's considered last in the targeting priority. Oh, it says that on the mission. Yeah, but it, but it only takes one damage to kill it. So we can do the we can do the one with the most dice. And orc runners, and orc runners are only two, right? Yep. So I'm gonna scatter shot these things. So scatter shot six shot four plus. Spawn zone? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm okay. just gonna do it now with. Uh, I think I have everyone in there that I. Yeah, I think all your dudes are in there, yeah. All my dudes are in here, so, too. Oh, Euclidean Mind the sub! Yo, Euclidean Mind, thank you so much for the sub. And before I trebuchet, let's spin the wheel for Euclidean Mind, our new president and leader. Wait, wait, did we? Did, did you spin the wheel for Evil Ed and Mako while I was gone, or no? No, I can't spin it while you're gone. This is a two-man operation, Lyle. Oh, it's a two-man operation, so we got, we, we, I mean, we saw oh. Evil Ed and... Well, let's fire it off before right, I fire my trebuchet. Evil Ed. Evil Ed. Evil Ed, I'm sorry. Oh, he had to go back to work. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Evil Ed. Well, he'll watch this later. You know he's going to watch to see if we died. Yeah. I just realized the guys up in the north are kind of uh, out of focus. Lame. I suck. It's okay. Oh, Bean Chris. Oh, up, Bean Chris. Thanks, Evil Ed. You'll be happy for that. Appreciate all the months, dude. That's a long, long, long time. Uh, he's been there. All right, it's fired off again for Mako. All right, this, one, uh, this one's for Mako. I think he's still in chat, Mako. He didn't say goodbye. I hope he's hanging out, having a good time. We appreciate all the support, guys. Look at this, Euclidean Mind, our emperor and leader. He demands his spin immediately, so we have to do this or Lyle's gonna die. Oh, it's a dad joke for oh, Mako. Dad joke. dad joke for Mako, dude. All right, Lyle. Are yes. you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Courtesy of Mako. Yeah. What language does a billboard speak? What language does a billboard speak? 
What line Mako's here. This is courtesy of Mako, guys. This is for you to take out. Go be famous comedians. Um, what language speaks, does a billboard speak? Uh, it speaks... Uh... It speaks ad words. <laughs> no, S-E- SEO. <laughs> no, you want um, to know? Oh yeah, yeah. It speaks. Yeah, I think I think yeah. Sean's got. Sean it. nailed it. it. Sign language. Sign. Yep. Sign language. I'll give you another one. Why didn't okay. the girl get the the fun music? Okay. Why didn't the girl trust the ocean? Why didn't the girl trust the ocean? Um, dude, I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know. You don't know why the girl didn't, couldn't trust the ocean? Anyone in chat getting it? Because it kept waving? Because <laughs> it kept good. waving. That's good. That's good. No, but good one. Good one. Good one. Want to know? Want to know? Yeah. There was something fishy about it. Ah! ah! <laughs> there you go, guys. Take that out. Be a famous uh, kid comedian. I owe a right, bean. Yeah. I owe a bean for evil. Light. Okay, then let's do it for the okay, our emperor and master, Euclidean mind. Euclidean mind. Euclidean mind. Thanks, guys. We appreciate that. Thank you, Euclidean mind, for that sub, man. That's super. Out. Oh, it's a. Uh... Oh, good. It's dirty dishwater. Birthday cake. Courtesy evil. Light. That's cool. I hope you get a bean here from evil. Light. Oh, uh, cool. Euclidean mind. Oh, ten no, push-ups. I got That'll 10 work. Push -ups. So while you do that, I'm gonna do these ten real quick. All right, he's gonna do his ten push-ups while I eat this awful bean. Hopefully, it's birthday cake. Nope, it's dirty dishwater. Oh, it burns the throat. The dirty dishwasher. The soap. The soap. It hurts. Oh, well, nice, dude. There you go. You killed it, man. You killed it. And, and yeah, and that thing's killing you, dude. Oh God. <laughs> it burns Sorry. your throat. The dirty dishwater just hurts. It just hurts. It just hurts. It tastes bad. It just hurts, dude. Thanks, Evil Ed. Wash my mouth out. I'm a dirty, dirty man. I needed that after dirty, that. Dirty, dirty man. All right, dude. All right, trebuchet, trebuchet time. time. Let's fire this thing off, and I'm firing it at. Uh, I'm firing it at that zone, guys. The, the nice. spawn zone to the south. Let's go. Six One time. Dice. Here we go. Six dice. Four plus. All right. So you got both. Um, you got both runners. Both runners. Okay. So I fired it with a scene. Now, uh, you get an extra action. So you have one more action left because you just leveled up. Okay, so those two guys did. Okay, I just leveled up? Oh, our first level up of Green uh, Horde, dude. in mind, yes, that is, a, that is a brain. That's a brain in a tank, dude. That's our new crit tank emote. They or it could be a, a couple weeks ago. You can use it over in Euclidean Mind for water. And welcome to the best camp on Twitch, oh, Mandrew Dandy. Dandy. Mandrew Dandy. Welcome to the best camp on Twitch, guys. We're the best camp on Twitch. Oh, he's oh, got a brain hype. Brains, dude. Oh, we got brains all over the place, guys. Yeah, yeah for brains. the brains, dude. Yes, brain hype. Yeah, Euclidean mind, of course. Emperor and Lord, um, he's taking that. He's taken our emote, Lyle. Now that we're in this yeah. uh, alternate universe, he's now taken our emote and uh, has made it his. So, I like. I like it. It's like, it's like an isometric brain, though. Oh, he's got a bunch ours, of them. Ours is more flat design, but his is like little. Yeah, I like it. Maybe yeah. we should steal that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like the rip, dude. <laughs> yeah, guys, go check out Euclidean mind. I, I met him playing Rocket League. Um, it was it was a it was fateful day and uh, we need to play again, man. We haven't played in a while. Hope everything's Let's going well. Go. Anybody. go give him a follow over there. That's Kevly. That's the other guy I've met. Um, okay, that's done. So I have one more action. I can't fire the trebuchet. I have a sword. Should I open this door? I think so. Yeah, you can open the door. I'm gonna attempt to open the door to the south. One time. Yep. Four plus. Fail. All right. Fail. Just banging on the door. Just knocking on it, dude. Made noise though. Um, Mandrew Danny says I was close to kickstarting this. Well, this is this is our first time playing it, so yeah, first time playing Green Horde. We will be adding all the Kickstarter exclusives and content and stuff um, after this. This is our quest. We're we're ironing out the kinks and all that because we're getting used to Green Horde. We're used to all the other cell besides, but getting used to this. It's fun so far. It's it's harder. We've realized, yep. and this is only Quest Zero, so this is fun. Um, okay, that's my that's his turn. I'm done. Okay, um, you have. Uh, your two other guys. You got Selly and so Johannes. Should, should I just finish off this thing? Dude, finish it off, dude. Do I get any XP for finishing it off? I don't think so. With the trebuchet, right? Only it the X's? It doesn't say that you get anything, actually. Yeah, I think we just destroy it. Yeah, I think you just destroy it, man. So what I have I have Selly and I have I used Johanna, Johannes, right? Or no, yeah. I used a seam. I used a no, seam. No, use a seam, yeah. Okay, I've got Johannes. Uh, hmm... I was trying to see who can open the door. She can open the door. I want to open this door. Because you are gonna, you okay. can fire the trebuchet too. 
So let me okay. use her to open the door. I'm going to try to open this door. All right. So let's see what's inside here. And if I have to use Johannes for range or something. Ah! Miss, dude. Dude, hardest door. Hardest door, dude. Okay. It's it's solid That's one action. mahogany, dude. Two more attempts at opening this door. Yeah. Uh, oh, door crit! Door crit! Yes, we busted open, guys. Gotta spawn that room now. Manju says, should do a Stranger Things only playthrough. It's, uh, I mean, I was, I was super pumped. Yeah, it's gonna be playing. I saw those character cards. Yeah, we've got them. We've got them. It'll come through. There's actually, some people have made quests for Stranger Things themed. Uh, we did a Stranger Things themed, uh, what was it? Uh, Kingdom Death Run. Yeah, Kingdom Death Run. <laughs> <laughs> you can go back and find those videos at YouTube or up here in our, I think no, in our I highlights section. That were so bad. Oh, yeah, the quality <laughs> kind of falls apart and it kept crashing because we were on Max at the time. Um, yeah. But yeah, the one who knocks. The one who knocks. I am the one who knocks. All right, so we got to spawn this. Yeah, spawn, spawn this that. thing up. Spawn this room. Into the horde. Okay, dude, nothing happens here. There's no horde to enter. Yeah. No horde. <laughs> Woo. Haha, <laughs> pleb horde. Worst horde. Yeah. Um, dude, nothing there. So I used one turn missed, one turn opened. I have one more action. You can go in there, I'm dude. I'm going to go in there, dude. Yeah, go in there. If you pick up this X next turn and it's the green one, and then we can just kill the spawn zone, all we have to do is make it to the exit, and then we win, dude. Everything's too small in here. I don't have enough space in there. <laughs> all right, Sully, good. Uh, now I have Johannes. Yep. Should I just use Johannes to go in and grab that X if it's green? Should I do that, or should I fire the trebuchet and finish off this uh, spawn? I would say fire the trebuchet because it okay. takes so long to get in there and it takes all three actions to get it. Okay. So I will fire the trebuchet just to fire it off and get it over with at the spawn zone in the bottom left. Here we go. Let's see if we get it, Lyle. Yes. You got let's him. say we got it with the crit for the people. Crits for the people. Objective achieved, Objective guys. Achieved. Objective achieved. Yep. Crits. We only needed a four. Look at this. This is a pretty good roll, actually. Thanks. Yeah. All right. Cool, Glad dude. I used it on one thing. So that's all your three guys. That's all my three guys. We're all we're all stuck over there in the hedges and with a giant trebuchet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Miniatures game. We need bigger squares, cool meter or not. All right, so I'm done. So it's your turn, dude. Um All right. You have one dude with the trebuchet, I think. Yeah, which guy is that? Uh it's your... That's Megan. Megan, yeah. So does Megan want to fire at the Necromancer, or what? We probably should so that we don't... We can get rid of a spawn zone? Yeah, well, let's just do it. I say you just do it. All right, fire, yeah. Megan's going to fire at the Necromancer's uh, zone. He's, he's going to do the scatter shot. Scatter shot? Six dice. <clears throat> Six dice, four plus. You got it. Got you him. Needed two, right? Because there yep, were two guys in I there? Both of them. Yes, got him. Woo! and you killed it all right let's get rid of his uh spawn zone his spawn was here yep one away i think two up here okay spawn zone removed gave yourself okay. two xp right I have my other two guys did you give yourself two xp i uh, guess i did you did that with megan right yep with okay, megan so she has three. three now okay um Let's, uh, who's in there with me? Is that a walker? Is that a fatty? What's that? That's a walker. That's a walker. Yeah, fatty. That's a there. walker. The bigger ones. Um, all right, let's start with, uh, doesn't really matter. Let's start with Baron, I guess. Let's just okay. swing the sword. Whips his sword out. Oh, actually, should I just, like, shove and get this out of the way? Like, <laughs> shove free? Yeah, like, how, how, do one, do one swing. Let's see. One swing. One swing. Got him. I right, got him. Nice. All right, what's the plan here, man? What are we doing? We need to get these X's, and then we win. We just have to get the two X's. You have two runners to the south, though, so they're going to be coming up on you. Okay. They'll be on so, you. So uh, jump, jump into trebuchet land, then. So that's going to take two actions? Yeah, that's going to be one, two. There's not enough space with the trebuchet. Okay. <laughs> they're all in this little box. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yep, and then um, I guess Wolf's going to jump in there, too, and then go down into the X room. Okay. X give it to you. One, two, three. Now Rolf's yep. over there. We're with the X. We're with the Jackie. All yep. right, man. So you'll be first to go next turn. Zombie turn. So they're going to come. He's going to go one, two. One. 
dudes will move down. Yep. These guys are runners, so they're going to go yep. one, two. Actually, okay. they would go one, two, right? Because it's a bank. And they're trying to get here. They can't go up. Yeah, because they can't go over ledges. Yeah, you're right. So they're going to actually go one, two. Yep. This is the noisiest. Uh, good, 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 good. Okay. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. This is the same. So well, he would go one, two. Which way should he go? Probably this way. Uh, we can choose. Let's go. Yeah, go, go south, I guess, in the matter, right? Okay, south. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, they don't split. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, okay, so they, this guy's gonna go here, this guy's gonna go here, here, yep. here, here, and here. Cool. Right, that's it. All right. Zombie spawn. Zombie spawn, dude. Boop. So we don't have one at the bottom left anymore. So we have the top. Oh, we leveled up. Left. We leveled up, by the way. So we're in oh, yellow. Yeah, yeah. So we have three runners. All right. And then here. Yep. Dude, can't believe we only have two spawns. Okay, the next one. Boop. Four uh, more runners, four dude. Or four. dude. Dude, when you get to yellow, it's like I'm almost out of because of the other four. We have I added I think four more runners. Yeah. From the expansion little extras we got for Kickstarter. So on top yep. of the base amount, I only have four left right now. Holy crap. So okay. if you were to play with this, you, I think we would actually be in activation mode, potentially okay. with the runners. Okay. Without what they gave us legally, additionally. That's what I'm saying. Okay. So I think you're first, dude. Um... So we just gotta do you mind if I pick up this X, or do you want me to just... I'd say we push... It'd be nice if you leveled up. Yeah, let's 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 uh let's let's pick up this X, dude. Okay, pick up the X. Let's see if it's green. We gotta roll it if it's green. Yep. I'm gonna go to yellow. For the extra action. Come on, green dude. Come on. Oh, yes. Nuts. Woo! Is that is Objective that it? Yep, that's it. We, so we, we we have to make it all to the exit now. Got the last objective, guys. Yep. Woo! Give yourself five XP, right? And you leveled up, dude. Uh, I have three more actions. All right, now we just got to make it to the exit. Uh, here's the scary part. Do we want to try to make it through the exit through all these doors? We have to go with all survivors. That's right. We can't die. Yeah, because uh, if we go through the water zones, yeah, it slows it takes us down. Two extra actions every time we go through dude, water. But there's banks. There's no banks. Those are ledges, so they can't get there. We have to push through these doors. Like, I mean, we could do the water cut. Yeah. But I think it's better if we just it's, run. I think it's better if we go through the doors, dude. I think we got to run. Yeah, we're ditching the trebuchet and just kind of running. Yeah. All right. So, so uh, I have three more actions. Open this door, dude. Because we can't push through the we can't push the trebuchet through a building, can we? No. <laughs> we I, don't, like... I don't think. It's not like uh, it's not like um, it's not like Halo where I take the car, I take the jeep, and I take it in every place I'm not supposed to. <laughs> I, yeah. I sit there for an hour forcing it through a doorway. <laughs> it's like, <sighs> like in any video game. Yeah. All right. Open this door, dude. Four plus. This isn't Grand Theft Auto, right? Um, okay. Four plus. Bust this door down, dude, with a Norse sword. Boom. Crushes Boom. the door, dude. Crushes the door. And then um, spawn that room, dude. That's not a room. And I have two more actions. That's not a room. That's outdoors. Oh, all yeah, right. Except there's a bank there, so they can't come to us. Boom. So so go down. It's my third action. My last action, because I leveled up. Open this door, dude. All right, man. It's going to go for the door. One more door. Or plus. Come on, dude. Bust this door. Got Boom. it. Yeah. Nice. Uh, OCS1 says, out of curiosity, you get 5 XP for grabbing the objective. Would you get 5 XP for destroying the red spawn? It just, it doesn't say, uh, on, in the, in the sheet explicitly that you get XP. So we're assuming we don't get XP. Yeah, we talked, yeah, we couldn't decide. 
So we just said yeah. no because, because it on the say. on the mission page it says the objectives are it specifically says it's five XP if you see at the bottom right there. But if you go in this little bullet point that says destroying the corrupted shrine, it doesn't say that it rewards XP. So yeah, it just talks about last and target prior to it. I mean, it's an objective, but we're I guess we technically are making it harder in a, in a way by not yep. giving ourselves XP, right? Yeah. So I mean I think it's the safest bet that we just don't yep. get the XP. I mean, you know. Okay, spawn this thing, spawn this room. Yeah, spawn. Spawns the room. It's Orc Walkers. Three walkers, Three. Three walkers walk, and put walk, a walker walk, in walk, there. Walk. In the horde. Walker in the horde. Okay. Nice. All right, so I got two more guys. Two more bros. You got Megan. Uh, I was saying just F this. Um, if we just want to push. Yeah, so Baron's just going to go. All right, so do do Megan first. She's going to go south, south, and then she's going to telekinetic blast um, into this zone. Okay, south, south. Ten a telekinetic blast. Okay, what do you yeah. need? A four plus? Yep. Telekinetic blast. Oh, telekinetic oh, blast crit! Nice. All right, so she's up to 4 XP. And then Baron is just going to go south-south, I guess. South-south, and then he's going... His third action, he's going to take the north sword the Norse sword from the second one that Rolf has, and then he's going to take it. Okay, so you have a Norse sword now. Yeah. yeah we so have... double casting counts for enchantments only, uh, not for combat spells. Let me just double check that. All right, someone said you could fire it twice. Yeah, double casting. Every time the survivor performs an enchantment action, they can, they can select an extra target. Yeah, but you'll see so, all the enchantments. Uh, the cards look different. They say, like, enchantment spell, not combat spell. Yeah, this one's a combat spell. Oh, you know what I could have been doing? Oh, no, I never... <laughs> I never used... I've never searched with Johannes, and I have transmutation with Johannes. Yeah. That's okay, dude. <laughs> I'm like, what were my guy's it's abilities? Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right, we're making a push. Um, is that it? That's it for my guys, yeah. Oh, you were first, so I still have my guys to go. Um... Speaking of, I could... Well, I've got ranged, and those are just walkers, right? So I should move down to that. I should. Okay, so I'm going to go Johannes. I'm just going to go one, two. I'm getting all packed in here. I'll go one, two, and I'll fire my bow in there. Okay. Um, I only get one shot, though, right? One dice, four plus. One dice, four plus. Fire the bow at these dudes. Got him. You. Nice. Johannes gets an XP. Okay. So Johannes is at five. Um, and then I've got Selly and Asim. Can't kill that last dude. Oh, Selly could search. Let me do a search, dude. Yeah, do a search. We've searched twice in this entire game. Let's do... I know. Let's do a search, find out what we get. The Great Yo, Axe. The Great Axe. Let me find it. So it's four dice, five plus, two damage. Great Axe for Selly. And this is going to Selly. There you go. Selly. Over here. All right, so now I have a cool axe. Um, maybe I'll just move down one. Yeah, move down one, dude. And then we're just going to take on a, a fatty, I guess. All right, oh. and then um, we're, we're ditching this trebuchet, huh? We're out? Yeah, we're out, You don't dude. want me to take one more shot with it or nothing? Because those guys are coming into the... No, the, those runners are going to come in and, and bite you, so just get leave, dude. Well, I could one search, right? You can one search, but your last person, last search, if it's a zombie, you still have an action. Yeah, I have an extra yeah. action, though. So I'll do one more yeah. search here. Let's do a search. Yeah. Find out. Boop. Hey, guess what it is? Hey, it's a walker, dude. <laughs> it's a walker. <laughs> All right, so you have two more damage. actions because you're in yellow. So so I get a walker in there with me. Oh, my bad. I should have been doing this. Hold on. Boom, boom. What? No. What? Because they're in yellow, so I just put an extra peg in. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to mark my spot. Yeah. Integrity of the game. Yeah. So I went down. I searched. I have two more actions. I've got a short sword. So I'll whip out the short sword. Shwink. And take out to this bro. Oh. 
Got him? Yes. All right, got him? Yep. And you get an XP. And that hooks up. Uh, more space. There's no space. Okay. Thanks. There's like no space. Well, dude. All right, we're all together and we killed the thing. Yep. All right. So who's? I'll be going first next turn. You'll be going first next turn. I'll <laughs> move token. Hey, zombie turn. The walker comes up. We're obviously the noisiest. Yep. They're gonna. They can't go up the ledge. They can't go up that ledge. No, he came this way. Oh, okay. They're gonna come this way though. So he's yeah, they're gonna come through the open door, dude. One here. He's going. I guess this way. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this guy moved up. This guy would go here. Yep. These guys would go in here. Okay. <coughs> okay. Uh, this guy is gonna go. Yeah, over and up. Two, yep. Yeah. Yep. Oh. Yeah, actually, I put one too many from the horde. Yep. Um, actually, I know what I'll just do there. Getting used to the new system. Yep. Okay, and then <clears throat> these guys can't go here or here, so he's going to go here. Yep, they're going to go over. Yep, exactly. So this should be three things. Yeah, we have, we have small numbers now that we, yeah. we can just do it that okay. way. These guys are going to go here. Here. Yep. Here with his two other fatties. He would go here. Yep. These guys go boom. And they need to line go of sight. Over. They're gonna go towards line of sight. Yeah. Oh, they have line of sight. Right. Yeah. So one, two. Yep. All right. Okay. Spawn time. Let's see if we can make it through this. We've got only one more door. We really have to pop. That and has two, two rooms. spawns. So two spawns. Boof. Four uh, walkers. Four walkers. Walk, 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 put a walker walk, in the horde. Second spawn, dude. We're getting there, dude. We're getting there. This yep. game is gonna be savage, though, on a yeah, know, dude. larger scale. Enter the horde. Enter the horde. <laughs> there they come. That's three enter the hordes, man. Yeah, this, I don't know how many there crazy. are. Okay, so they're coming in right here. Oh wait, no, no, no. Mako says, yeah, the green, the green spawn's gone, dude. You're supposed to. We picked that up that X a while ago. Oh, sweet. So put that enter the horde back up on the the spawn pile. Yeah, that would just be the next thing. We just know that the horde's coming in on the next spawn. Oh, great! The horde's gonna come in on the uh, when we. Uh, oh wait, no, no, no! We already opened the door. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna come in on the exit, dude. That yeah. sucks. Oh well. Yeah, it's gonna suck. Maybe we just don't open the doors. As no, we gotta know. push. We would push. We would push. We would have pushed. Yeah. We're gonna push. All right. So it's my turn. Right, you're up first. Okay, my turn. There's a fatty with us. There's a walker with us. A walker. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little. The fatties are the big guys with the strap on them. Yeah. Um. That's why I gotta paint them. Well, they're already yellow. I gotta paint the walkers' bases blue, maybe. I'll do the. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably paint their bases blue for the walkers. Uh, who do I wanna start with? Who? Oh, I'm gonna start with Selly, dude. She's got this axe. Oh, I can open doors for free with Selly. I'm not gonna start with Selly. Selly's gonna go open yeah. that other door for free rather than waste our time. Yeah. Um. You know what? I'm gonna start with uh, Johannes and just okay. punch him. I'm gonna punch, punch him with him, my bow, punch dude. Him face. Punch him in the butt. Punch him in the butt with the bow. Yeah, punch him in the butt with the ball with a crit. Still one XP away from yellow, right? Yep. That gets me at six or puts me at five. Did you move it to five? Oh, was I at four? Oh, sorry. I didn't move it. Yeah, it goes so it puts six. you at six. Ah, I am one away. Okay, so I've got two more actions with him. Uh, and I'm just going to... We don't need this X. No, but you can pick it up for XP if you want it. <laughs> Two. Oh yeah, I could. Or I could search. <laughs> I'm gonna do a search just to see some stuff. Okay. I'm gonna search. Search. Hopefully we don't get the zombie because we already went through that. Oh, I got the crossbow. Oh, got the crossbow, dude. You can put that in your uh, your middle your middle hand. Yeah. Throw throw a crossbow on me, dude. I got my lore. 
Got some lore, guys. Yeah, better better bow, so I can punch faces and uh and do that whole thing. Nice. So I've got a crossbow, crossbow. Nice. Uh, and then I'm done. Because I moved and then did that. So Sally's gonna go down now that I can. I'm gonna go down one, open this door for free. Open it for free. Here. <laughs> makes noise though, I think, right? Yeah. Uh yes, makes noise. Makes noise. One, two, three. Cool. One, two, three. And then... You have a seam. A seam is just going to go... One, two... Do you want me to try to open the door to the double room? Uh, Mako says because the green spawn is gone, the Necro should be heading back to his spawn. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So he would have went back to his spawn and disappeared, I guess. Well, he would have gone back to his spawn on the move. Yeah. And then... And then when he activates, he disappears. That would be next turn. Yeah. Okay. So next turn, he would disappear, and his yeah. spawn point would become active. Yeah. Yeah. Or it would be permanent. Right. Good call, yeah. Mako. Good call. Cool. We rewound that a little, little bit. Call, good call. Good call. Didn't matter that much, I guess. Nice kind of a nice game. So what I would have done, not knowing that this next spawn point is going to be enter the horde, I probably would have gone one, two, three, and try to open this door. Yes. The seam. I'm just going to play yeah. it honestly. Yeah. Pop this door. Yep. So I'm going to try to pop the door. Probably going to fail because I need four plus. Yep. <laughs> yep you failed anyway. <laughs> so it didn't matter. <laughs> yeah, but I would I would do the same thing, though. I would go over and try to... Okay, so yeah, it's your turn. Who are you coming with? Well, I, I probably would have done this, dude. I probably would have started with Megan because she can start... She can do doors from a distance. Cool. So I was going to go one down and then take two shots at opening the door, probably. She moves down. Take two shots. Okay, you're going to fire yep. this thing. Four plus. Just four plus, huh? Okay. Oh, it's a miss. It's a miss. <laughs> Let's do it again. One noise. Oh, no roll for the spell. What? I just opened the door, dude. Oh, you do? You would have blasted it. I would have blasted it, You would have blasted yeah. it and just knocked Thank it down, you, dude. <laughs> you did use the not used to opening doors with spells. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So boom, bust it open. Okay. So there's two places we spawn. This one right? is. And we always start with the furthest from the door. So the yeah. first one would be enter the horde. Enter the yeah. horde would have come in. Okay, now we're doing this legit. Oh, enter the horde. <clears throat> and then we have the, uh, the the exit zone. And the exit zone is legit. Okay, exit zone. Boof or walker. Uh, one or a bomb. Oh, abomination, not a walker. Rewind that. Go to a bomb, dude. A bomb. All right. There's still a way we can beat this because my dude's got shoved. So if we can all get into the zone. So we're not playing. We are playing double a bomb. Like I did say that at the beginning, that we were playing double a bomb. There aren't two a bombs that come in the base, so we're using one of the Black Plague bombs. Yeah. Or no, I'm going to use a orca bomb. I guess it doesn't matter. They're the same thing. Um. Uh, Orca bomb. I don't have, oh, I only have one Orca Bomb. Well, if you only have one Orca Bomb, then the, that guy just activates the Orca Bomb. Yeah, I mean, I think I, I think, well, base game only comes with one, but I was just gonna, when we put in Black Plague, we'd be playing with two, but. Yeah, I mean, we would just activate. Yeah, we would just go here. Because the way he can get to us is that way, so. Yep. We go there. Okay, we'll just uh, we'll just activate All right. him. All right. Okay. Now you have one more action, right? You move down. Uh, yeah. Go. Uh, go. Go east. Okay. Then you have one more guy. Baron. Uh, I have Baron and Rolf. Oh, two. Uh, they're all gonna hang out in the same spot next to the exit door. Just go one, two. One, two, one, two. Before you moved with Baron, you could have pushed the runners back. No, couldn't you? Because isn't it one shove? You no, have I have to beat. Well, I have to go into their zone to do that. Oh, yeah, yeah, don't do that. Okay. Because yeah. they're going to be on. Uh, they're going to be on me there. Well, okay, so I'll do that with Baron then, just to save you. Okay. So go back one and then forward two. So he's in the same room as, uh, what's his name? Yeah. There you go. More strat, more strat. Did a little push sub, <clears throat> did a little yeah. push, push, push it. All right. Uh, looks like that's it, right? So I'll be first next turn. 
And it's zombie turn. Uh, no, I will be first next turn. Oh, you will? Okay. One, two. Uh, two dudes come in here. These two dudes go here. Uh, okay, they're coming around. So these two dudes go one, two. Mm hmm. Uh, we got a bunch of dudes here. So we got um, all these runners will be here. Yep. Yep. He'd be there. He activates. Yep, he disappears. His spawn point is now permanent. His spawn, permanent spawn point. These guys go down. Yep. Uh, he comes over. He comes up. They go here because they can't come over the ledge. Yep. They go one, two here. And these guys go here. Exactly. And then we just have the one spawn up top. Okay. Zombie spawn is two walkers. Two walkers, and then put one in the horde. One in the hole. One in the horde. One in the horde. Two walkers. All right, man. This is it. The final push. All right, I'm up. This is the final push-ish. We just have to get through these runners and, and these walkers. All right, let's start with uh, my boy Rolf. Okay. How do you want to roll? Uh, let's just yeah, just hit him, hit him with the Norse sword, oh, dude. Face with him. You don't need to use your bloodlust. Yeah, that's right. Hit yeah. him with the Norse sword. Hit him with the Norse sword. The sword of the. Hit him with the Norse sword. Four. Is that enough? I think so. All right, that's enough to kill one. Hit yeah. One. one down. All right, do it again. Goes for another shot. Got him. Got him. Nice, dude. And now blood. Uh, so that's two actions. Yep. Third action, I'm going to bloodlust melee into the exit zone. So jump in, do a melee. Oh, yeah, you've got another action, right? Yep. Whips it out, bloodlust in. Oh, get some of the crew. That's a crit. All right, and now my last action, I'm going to swing the sword, dude. Swing the north sword, dude. North sword of the north. Oh, gets it with a crit, or not a crit, a four, but it's dead. Nice. Dude, dude Rolf, Rolf just, just did. He just went berserker mode, dude. Dude, Rolf is nuts right now. Sweet. Yeah. Okay. Well, you just cleared the path. Yeah, well, that's it. Now we win. So Baron's going to go over, and Megan's going to go over. Baron's going to go one, two. Oh. One, two. Megan. Okay. Yep. And then I would go one, two. Yep. And then one, two. And we're on the exit, nice. so we just make it, right? We don't even need yep, to use a thing to make we it. Win. Yes, we did it, dude! Yes, we accomplished the first mission! <laughs> we did it, awesome. guys! Mission accomplished! Mission accomplished. We beat the Crit Zero tutorial! <laughs> <laughs> and we got through it with our with our janky companion Crit Camp app. We did it, guys. Uh, you know what? Cheers. I think we did pretty well, considering that we haven't... We had to learn how to do it. like this in a while. I literally have poker chips out on the table, all that good stuff. Thank you for the crit cheers in chat, guys. <laughs> brawling, well done on that tutorial mission. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, brawling bros. Yeah, we're in. We're in for some challenges here, man. We're in we for, are some in challenges. for some challenges, dude. Woo! Did you give crits to the people for the comp for completion? Oh no, I did not give crits to the give people. crits to the people. At least give away, you know, ten or something. Twenty crit two 20, tickets. Dude, that's two tickets. Two tickets into the giveaway that's currently going on. Yes, guys. Thank you for everyone's help. Uh, and helping us get the big crit win. We've made it to the exit. We destroyed Quest Zero. Uh, and that's it. That's complete, dude. We got the board full there. There's there's everyone pushing their way. I, so, look how messy it got in the top left corner. Yeah. yeah. Um, one reason I might not use the 3D hedges is just in terms of fitting things onto the board. Uh, yeah. I don't know. We're going to have to see when we get some of the giant. We have some giant abomination minis that are going to be coming in. Uh, and it's gonna get crazy, man. But that was fun, dude. Okay, cool. New, new things. That was that was cool. I mean, it's yeah. We got we got some extra stuff to learn. Um, but it's fun because it's like there's there's new there's just new stuff. New stuff. It's fun to play with new yeah. stuff. Man. We only searched, I think, like four times the entire quest. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. So we have a we have a huge amount but, of uh, equipment to go but through. It, but isn't um, that classic? Isn't that classic crit camp? Oh, yeah. Dude? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is also why we've lost on tutorial missions, because we just we just go, it's a tutorial, and then we just die. Um, yeah. I was glad it kind of had a challenge as a tutorial mission. It was a fun Quest Zero tutorial mission to play. Uh, yeah. It'd be a fun one to bring out with people, especially if they've never played Zombicide before and you only own Black Plague or Green Horde. 
Um, it's got enough of a challenge to it, and it, it helps introduce everything pretty well. You experience every little detail, which was nice. Jumping in the water, hedges, yeah. uh, the horde zone. The only thing we don't work with is barriers, I think, in this. Was there anything yeah, else we did? Yeah, just barriers. Do? Barriers don't come out. Yeah, you still uh, get to use the trebuchet, which was cool. Um, yeah, it was fun, dude. It's cool. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, Mako's asking, when do you add the dragons? Um, we're So my idea here as we move forward, I'm, I'm really, you know... It's looking like there's no word from Cool Mini or not on a companion app. So what we have to do is we just need to add some more stuff. And that's just in terms of characters. So we're going to have to add in all the elements for the Black Plague characters and stuff like that in terms of survivors. The To add in, like, the dragons and other bombs, um, all we really have to do is add the physical cards since we're just kind of popping them in, you know, keying them in. Um, yep. So uh, we could do that. We're going to be adding that stuff in the next quests and stuff like that. Since there's a – what we've been doing through Wolfsburg – and whatnot, we usually play with two necromancers, usually one mm-hmm. primary and one um, like special necromancer. Yeah. So I have what we have over here is we have special we have special necromancer boxes um, that we need to add in uh, and stuff like that, which we will do. And then what we'll do is we'll add one rando special necromancer, and then I think what we usually do is use a regular a bomb and a special a bomb mm-hmm. um, is usually what we're doing. So we'll probably have the orca bomb and then a special a bomb uh, moving forward. Uh, versus uh, the Black Plague bomb. What do you think? Or should we add two regular bombs and a special bomb? I mean, what should we do? No, I think we should maybe just one one regular, one special. Maybe. Okay. So each quest, yeah. um, we'll kind of move through and be adding in these other abominations uh, to get everything out. Uh, if yeah. we just sort of do it randomly, I have a feeling it just won't come in. I mean, I could make a list of all the bombs we have available and sort of randomly choose that way. Um, but yeah, we have two dragons to add. Plus we have two... We do have friends and foes expansion, uh, and those that I think that adds uh, like a few more quests and stuff like that. So I think there's ten quests uh, in base Green Horde, just like all the other kind of Tom besides. Let me just double check that. Yeah, there's ten quests for base Green Horde, so we're gonna play through ten quests here, yep. um, and then we have friends and foes which i think might add another 10 something like that someone can confirm that i haven't really looked through its rule book um but we will be adding in uh the friends and foes stuff too which adds kind of like these uh not ghost dudes but a different uh type of zombie there will be the other abominations uh there will be the other necromancers so we want to filter them in uh nice. Brongo says watch out for the dragons they hurt no sure. care bearing the dragons on the board bring the pain oh i've got the ambient still going i was like i hear dragons in the distance uh, oh that's good to know guys but good guys thank you so much for making this uh better kind of we're kind of play testing it as well it's a tutorial so it's sort of like get some qc out of the way see how we can show stuff better i have some i'm gonna paint the bases of the walkers the the poker chips idea was great um um all that stuff so if there's anything else you think that would help with the playthrough uh as we move forward definitely let us know or ways to introduce content if uh versus just saying we're throwing it all in um yeah and just being overwhelming so we, we we're gonna be doing this we're gonna be doing this it's gonna be fun um yes there's a ballista we'll be adding in that's true we do ballista. have that um and like we said there's other painted pieces we have from the likes of sean that we will be sprinkling in so be sure you tune in if you like seeing uh, all the custom art thank you to k mike and sean especially for the awesome custom made pieces and the time they put into for that sure man they were super cool guys we really appreciate that makes the makes it look super rad um hope you guys enjoyed it too it looks it looks super neat and hopefully we'll show them better even more as we move forward. Uh, and just pray, guys. Just pray we get a um, a companion app so it make it go yeah. faster. <laughs> uh, anything else, Lyle? Any uh, first take? I excited? I'm excited. I'm excited. It seems real. It seems a lot harder than than yeah. uh, than Black Plague or Wolfsburg. So that's going to be a challenge for us. Um, but there's a lot of cool stuff, and I can't wait to see what else uh, what else unfolds. We're gonna get uh, but lastly, I do want to just do a quick reminder for everybody that we do have a current giveaway going on. Um, so exclamation point giveaway in chat. If you want to get in, here's the uh, the promo for it. You get uh, it's our own custom, our first run of custom single player play mats. So these are the two different designs you can choose from, an all black with the big logo, or uh, what we're calling the campsite uh, play mat. So exclamation point ticket singular space how many tickets you want to buy in chat if you want to get in that a hundred yeah. ticket maximum subs get two times luck each ticket costs ten crits so exclamation point crits to so check your crits in chat so get in this um, we will do the um, the giveaway in, uh, next week sometime next Thursday probably yeah probably next well yeah I'm saying next Thursday but you're not going to be here actually I'm not going to be here so maybe next Monday next next Monday um, yeah so yeah I will like be a um, like I mentioned the middle stream I will be gone um, I'm I'm leaving for New York 
tomorrow. Um, Go do uh, work for the week. I'll be up there till next weekend. Um, yeah. So I won't be on stream until the, the following Monday. So all of next week, uh, Chris will be doing solo streams if he decides to stream. Yeah. Uh, so just check on Twitter and Discord and stuff, and he'll let yeah. you know. I'll, uh, so Friday, I think Matt, Matt, just so everyone knows, just on uh, on Friday, Monday, Monday, uh, Monday night stream is probably going to be Keyforge. What? We're going to bring oh, some nice. Keyforge. And nice. Matt, Sensei Sice, is going to join me on Monday night. So he's been saying uh, he's ready to come back and uh, do some stuff. We've been hitting a bunch of chain-bound events for the Keyforge fans out there. I'll be at one tomorrow night. So uh, come Monday, we'll talk about the chain-bound event, talk about some more decks. Uh, Matt's going to come and talk about his experiences and then probably try to wreck me. Uh, because sweet, dude. Matt's net Matt's nuts and we don't know what he's going to be playing against me and uh, get some next level play so if you guys haven't uh, jumped into key four jet it'll be a good night to come through and uh, watch me get wrecked by Matt <laughs> uh, the sensei sicey so uh, come have fun guys thanks for all the support this week it's been amazing uh, stay tuned tell your friends about the camp come through uh, if you like board games we like board games we appreciate all the support the follows the subs uh, subs on YouTube even it's all very helpful and we really appreciate it we'll see you next week alright sounds good woo Peace good gaming, everybody. Peace good gaming, everyone. Go play some board games. Cheers. See you in the Twitter, Twitch, Twitch, Twitchiverse. And at the table. See you in the Crucible. At oh, do you, do you want me to you want me to roll some stuff? What? You want me to roll? Oh, no, roll I don't have it set up. So bye. Uh, <laughs> See you guys later. <laughs> okay. <laughs>